Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. So I've got a summoner here. Gotta try a gargoyle summoner. I believe I tried one of these like ages ago. Didn't get very far, but that was ages ago. So I'll try another one. What can I do? It gets a little mammal down. Oh, two quokkas. That's pretty much a max roll, though. Little summon mammals here. Quark is always better than other stuff. How much power do I have? Oh, almost 50% power. Huh. I think the Quokka is like the number of those you get goes up with power. Uh, Alright, this is alright. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to uh, distract this guy for a little while. Okay, level 2. So I can get, what was it, summon something? Some a little, little limp. There we go, cool limp. That's a second level spell. Uh, what's up with that dagger? It's normal, right? I hope so. We'll find out. I'll just say it in the end, but I think I should do the trick. Uh, I get a couple of whatever. Oh, it's a little bad. That's not quite what I was after. I hope the imp can deal with these guys now, though, because I don't have any magic points right now. That's a... Don't oh, got a tight little imp. It's a bro with a solid... Karen, they don't have a lot of magic points. That's a whip for electrocution, so I gotta be quite careful with that one. Come on, kill it then. I can recast them once more if I need to, but the uh, whip of electrocution is a decent backup weapon. Because I think they attack reasonably fast. Yeah, like 1.2 attack delay. And the uh, electrocution can do a reasonable amount of damage. What then? You got this guy. Uh, not yet third level, so I can't get a little faithful hound out yet. Speaking of hounds, like an enemy one here on these jackals. Uh, I guess I'll just spam the little mammals. Gotta hide behind something. Okay, well, intelligence is what I need. Uh, Dex and Strand are fine for the rest of the game if I get stuck with those. Alright, well, oh, 10% failure of my little mammal? I'm getting the right skills, right? Yeah, I am. I guess I just got a minus one aptitude, so it's gonna take a little bit longer, but I'll try the little mammal. I don't think it's too bad if I miscast. It's just I've already got seven magic points. Okay, uh, I mean, a ring of flight is alright. Eventually, I think 14 somewhere, you get to fly naturally, so... It's nothing too special, but I'll grab it. Oh. <laughs> I hate the little cobalt. Cobalt's gonna be funny, though, because sometimes they can just have the most busted weapon ever. Like, a cobalt could just spring out with, I don't know... <laughs> Dark Maul or something. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a Cobalt with Dark Maul, but I've definitely seen a Cobalt with, like, the Shield Resistance. I mean, it'd be kind of funny seeing one with the Dark Maul, though. Oh, wait, I should have healed up my Hound actually, because, uh... No, oh, I failed to heal it. It's kind of worried that it's gonna, like, time out on me straight after I healed it up. There's always a little bit of a problem with the Hound. Uh, let's get out the... Imp here. There we go. Alright. Almost feel like refreshing it needs to maybe give it more time if you're in combat. I mean, I can see why it doesn't give it time out of combat. It's because then you can... Well, actually, you can do a thing where like, you're like polymorph your summon into something really tough. So if it never timed out, like, if you could just give a refresh all the time, the more, for one thing, it'd be really tedious, but for another thing, it'd be kind of overpowered. That's Metaphor Assault, Articubus Armor, Fugue of the Fallen. Do I really? No, I probably won't be Metaphor Assaulting with this character. I doubt it. Those are kind of more of the spells for melee characters rather than pure summoners. There's a little shield here. I won't be able to use that for quite some time, I don't think. Alright. Oh, and a ring. Um, of ice? Alright, I'll keep that as a swap. Nah, but I'm still, what, 8% failure on the summon hound here, so it doesn't really make it, oh, any sense to just switch up to the shield yet. The dagger for electrocution? I mean, I guess it's slightly better than the, um, web, but they're pretty similar. I, mean, I guess it's one attack to lead to zero point something. Um... How about this? A lot of gnolls. I thought it's gonna have to go up, I think. I don't think I'm killing the gnolls. No, unfortunately not. I lost my hound, so... I 
I can get her to go up here as well. Hey, I managed to get one of the dolls at least on the way up. Alright, next staircase. Oh, this one's a completely different spot. It's only just another one that leads to the same old area. Uh, I can put on these boots. There we go. So, got seven armor class. I think quite a bit of that's just from being a guy gold on the other thing. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the staircase. I mean, this guy's. Uh, not dying easily. Oh, I'm going up. Oh, that's too many guys. They're gonna absolutely slaughter me if I stay there. Okay, this staircase. Uh, the nose will seem to run away somewhere else. This is fine, I guess. Alright, fifth level. Um, I don't think I can get on the fifth level. I mean, there's no... There's no summon ice bees. There's a blaze heart golem coming up. And a summon lightning spy. I might grab the blaze heart golem, but it's like 50% failure or something, so... It's not exactly castable just yet. Uh... Probably should have let my hound time out or something. I don't know. It's a bit awkward trying to wait for it to time out after every fight or something, but I probably should have because it's a bit wounded. Didn't want it to go into the next fight. Starting wounded. Oh, come on, give me a little limb. I'm kind of surprised how little I've been failing. Oh, I've got a stuff there. Oh, I don't actually need the resistance light trick. Kind of uh, surprised how little I've been failing on the hound, though, and how much I've been failing on the imp. Because the hound's definitely got the higher chance of failure. Oh, I need. Let me get back to the staircase, I think. Oh, yeah, the hound did die. Not a huge surprise there. Oh, I probably just gotta go up. I don't know, didn't quite kill those dolls. I'm just gonna go down another staircase. Hopefully I can get them split up, because I think two at a time is just a little bit too much. Hey, there we go. And that was kind of not really two at a time, because they uh, turned up, well, a slightly separate time there. Wait, in order. Um, I want to check. So, Gozak, Maclev, Hepley, Aquata. Sure, why not? Hepley, Aquata? Alright, I'm happy with that. I mean, Gargoyles don't have a lot of health, so... I mean, even less is not great, but... I mean, I got Hepley, Aquata. They'll, uh, they'll tank for me. Who did I get my answers, though? Pike... Pike Vu? Or Pike Ver? Alright, well, I can hit for 6 damage. They don't have a lot of damage right now, but they do help defend me. That's really good early on, but you don't have, like, the whole army of summons yet. Just gotta give- oh, give you one starting summon. Uh, there's a temple here. Well, I could have chosen any god, but I'm good with what I've got. I'm still gonna check out the temple, see if it's not, like, a special temple. Nah, it's just a fairly, fairly ordinary temple. No, um, Ignis altars or anything like that in the temple. Oh, I don't let this guy get that close. Um, I bring this guy downstairs actually. And says to get in here. I think this is fine. All right, what's the next? No, oh, there's two of them. Um, all right, good. These ones are working out as well. What's next? There's uh, obviously another null. This level seems to be all about the gnolls. At least it's not the first level of the dungeon full of gnolls. That's always the worst. Although I think the gnolls of the first level of the dungeon might be guaranteed not to come in packs. I think they just come with their own at least. But still, single gnoll is pretty bad on the first level of the dungeon. Oh god, Quasol there. That's one of the altars where if you don't have flight, you just can't get it. Which I think could be bad because I think sometimes it could be your only altar to the god. Alright, hey there, Ogre. I think that Ogre can probably one-hit my answers. Oh, yeah, my answers only got 20 health. It can probably one-hit my hound as well. I'm gonna have to be ready to run. I don't have to run, because the Ogre just died. I'm 7th level now. Um, how's that blaze heart going? 36% failure? If I just get, like, 3 fire skill, maybe I can do that? Oh, whoops. Ah. I'm blocking my, like, creatures at getting to that top level. Oops. 
Ooh, I can turn my ancestor into. I reckon I just turned them into a knight. I know I often turn my ancestor into a knight, but I really do like having an extra shield on the front guarding me. Yeah, there we go. Knight of them. Pike Ver the knights now. Uh. Whoa, hey, Kenrad, coming up with the Prime. I appreciate that one. How's it going, Kenrad? Oh, I really appreciate that uh, Prime you just dropped. I already got here. A long time, no see. Yeah, unfortunately, I wasn't feeling the best. I, I kind of suspicious that it's actually the house I'm living in that's making me sick. So I'm gonna see if I can arrange to stay somewhere else for a while. See if I can test out that theory. Um, hopefully. Oh, you couldn't watch streams lately. Well, I uh, actually haven't been streaming for a little while recently. That's uh, my first stream for quite some while. Doesn't sound good. No, I think, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to stay somewhere else and see, like, if that helps. And if it does, then I don't know. I might have to be, uh, figure out something a bit more long term. But I, I'm kind of suspicious, because I stayed around with, like, a relatives, like, re somewhat recently, and I felt a lot better. Um, ooh, I'm gonna read the scroll. It might be identified. There we go. It is identified. So I've got some curing potions, some attraction, some blinking. These are like kind of nice things. Apart from the attraction, that doesn't really matter. Oh, it's a noise. Oh, well. I mean, at least I got the blinking. That's one of the most important scrolls to get. Oh, goodbye, hound. <laughs> I've been playing some Torn lately. How's the uh, Torn been going? Have you got any characters going? I seem to remember when I played that like a bit a while back, I tend to play a lot of like, I think they were called Archmages or something. But I never got massively good at them. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I kind of like uh, the build tree, but it can be kind of confusing to figure out which skills are actually worth getting and which ones aren't. Oh, come on, go for the guy. There we go. Oh, you just died? Wow, okay. But you managed to get your first and second win. Oh, nice. I don't think I quite made my first win in the game. Because I used to play the game, like, a bit more than I do now. Now I just, like, occasionally go in for one character or whatever. Um, no, getting your first win is pretty impressive. Because I always find, like, I always sort of get to the same sort of point in the game. And then just, I feel like I'm doing really well. And then I just straight up die. To a creature that felt kind of unwinnable. It always seems to happen like that. But I don't know quite what I'm doing wrong. Are you not daring to play on the permadeath mode though? You're doing the one where you get life every couple of levels. Right, I, I vaguely remember like the different modes. Um, is this going to work? No, it's not, is it? I can throw a javelin. Hey, I did the trick. I'm kind of surprised about that. Yeah, because I, I definitely remember the be the one we get one life. I thought there was one we got three lives, but I could be entirely wrong on that. Maybe, maybe it is just the one where you get it every couple of levels or something. Also, a permadeath, but you have like five tries or something. Yeah, because you kind of, I feel like you really need it in a uh, tome, don't you? Because there's some creatures that are just randomly really tough compared with others. Alright. I should think about armor. What am I wearing? I'm wearing leather armor willpower. It's not terrible. I think I'm missing a lot of slots like cloak, helmet, shield. Oh, that's right. I do have a shield. Uh, I don't think I've got a cloak yet. Alright, that's fine. No helmets, no cloaks. Oh, now you've learned that it's not that randomly. It's always like the same... Like, I guess it helps, like, learning which enemies it is, because uh, I know the enemies... Like, things are randomly generated, but there's also, like, the boss monsters kind of aren't, right? Like, you know exactly where you're gonna find them. 
Oh, that's not what I want to see. Hold up. I think my hand just timed out. There we go. I can get another one. Um, can I sneak up to the centaur? I can even stab it. I'm not actually skilled at stabbing, but I'll take a stab when I get one. Alright, 12% failed the uh, blowing people up skill, the fiery one. I'm not sure how useful the bla uh, blaze hard golem will be with this character. Because I feel like they could... Oh, wait, they won't blow up my ancestor, will they? Actually... Huh. Because my answers are immune to basically everything I do, I think. So that's actually not too bad. That might work fairly well. Although there are signs you still uh, suck, though. Yeah, but at least you got your first wins. So you're, um... I think better than me. Oh, even your second one too. <laughs> All right, let me go downstairs. Oh, the hardest thing will be the random bosses, which are like three class at once. All right, the ones where you're like exploring the overworld, you just get ambushed by like the random team of overpowered guys. Those sort of ones. I like uh. I really like that system of tome where rare enemies and up. Upwards are basically player classes. Yeah, because they have like a list of skills and stuff. I've always found one thing about Tome though is like there's just a wall of text with um, enemies in it. I feel like you'd have to be pretty skilled in the game to kind of decipher it. Um, <laughs> actually figure out what the enemy said. Oh, I got a Curari. Curari's always good. Also, there's something magic on the ground here. Uh, I think, no, I think it was just a uh, poison darts. All right. Oh, your breakthrough is changing up the font to try and get something like a little bit more readable. There we go. He's not dying. I love the uh, love the summon how to get all the attacks whenever you buff it. All right, what have we got here? Got might. Got fog. I mean, it's not the most useful. Fog's all right. Oh, sharp weapon. You know what? I might as well just use that sharp weapon, right? I mean, it's not like I'm really gonna worry about weapons with this character. Um, this dagger's okay. Yeah, I have an answer, so I have the hound. That's probably all I'm gonna get out here, because the, well, the ice, uh, not the ice guy, the sky beast is invisible. Ooh, a white bird. That sounds kind of tough. After that, everything got way more readable for you, which can visually filter for the stats. Yeah, I know, like, um... I know that one thing I had to change was, like, how zoomed in the game was. Because it was, like, so zoomed in that creatures could attack you from, like, out of sight. It was kind of strange. I would have thought the default um, zoom option would have, like, put the whole visible area in view, but apparently not. A guy going with Hamptic, why aren't you scared of low HP? I mean, maybe a little bit. Yeah, especially with the... Oh, my hands are going to the water. Especially with the, like, priests and stuff, but... Oh, that's not terrible. Oh. Yeah, speaking of priests, that's a couple of spiders that moves out of house. <laughs> Alright, let's go upstairs. Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, the... I mean, I might be a nice little character, but I guess this might still a problem. Because <laughs> I've got the gargoyle, pamphlet, acquired a health. There we go. Killed off these guys. Do they? They weren't even nothing good. They'll probably just have some plate armor or something. Oh, is there an electrocution to hand axe? I feel like every single weapon's been electrocution in this game. It's kind of funny. Alright, well, I gotta go down, I guess. Not much choice. Oh, at this point in the game. I can maybe blaze heart this guy. Let me give that a try. Yeah, because I can actually do a decent amount of damage just with his melee attacks, which is kind of nice. Uh, this is not quite right because my ancestors are up the front. Oh well, that's fine. I'll just let my ancestors do all the fighting. There we go. <laughs> do I have a fire resist yet? I don't think so. I'm going to ring of ice. That's not gonna really help me with this uh guy. Oh no. That's way too much damage. Um Right. I try the curing, but it's not gonna help me that much. Oh 
Man, okay. Let me just get out of there. So I think I'm gonna try and avoid that guy for as long as I can. Oh no, it's back. Okay, there we go. Blow it up. I hope it's got some oh, it doesn't even have some armor for me. Because at least the armor would have given me like some sort of uh protection from the fire. What is there resistance to steam or something? Alright. Level 10. Alright, how's my ancestors going? They've got 35 health? I mean, they've actually got quite a lot of health, considering what I'm sitting on. I'd say they're like 40-something health, so they've actually got almost as much health as me, right? Oh. Whoa. What a quick silver. That's not good. Um, ooh, I think I drink a curing, but it's questionable. Okay. I didn't even notice that guy had Quicksilver first. I thought it was just highlighted because it was, uh, got a Curare. That's the thing about those Cobalt Brigands. They always carry around something really dangerous. So when they actually have something unique, it's really hard to tell. Unless you actually purposely, like, examine them. Alright, um... There we go, it's dead. I've got its one quick deal, which is great. I think it's my first one. No, I've got the flaming as well. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. All right. Now those yanks noticed me, did they? But I want them one at a time if I can. Um, where'd it go? <laughs> I don't know, what's up with these yanks? Uh, I don't want to blow myself up here. Kind of important, because I got no fire in this, so... If I blew myself up, it would do a lot of damage, I think. Oh my god, it's up the front, that's fine, but I guess it's not gonna do a lot of damage to those guys. But I get dimensional bullseye and sigil binding. Some people need to light the sigil of binding, but I never see- Oh, that's a bad spot to be in. There we go, that's better. Uh, I never seem to be able to get the sigil be particularly effective for me. It would always... I don't know, land in the wrong spot and not get the creatures and that sort of thing. But I know some people like it. Alright, uh... I think blowing the bees up with fire tends to work pretty well. Oh. Because then their evasion that they've got tons of doesn't really matter as much. Oh, boots. I think I needed those. What do I have? No, I have boots. Okay, never mind. I can drop the boots. Um, I have 5% of the blaze out gold. Am I going to try on a buckler? 8%? Ah, that's fine. I should get some shield skill though. Also, I should put some limits on these things. Spellcasting can stop at 10. Summoning can stop at like 12. Um, shield, I guess 5. I do have a bigger shield for when I uh, want to use that. Oh, this guy is Curari, good. I gotta double check them now, though. After the other one that surprised me. Oh, what happened to my ancestor? Okay. Oh, that's not good. My blaze eye gold disappeared in a puff of smoke. Um, that's also not good. Oh, there we go. Just trying to get away there so that I can go get my ancestor back and stuff, but a two-headed ogre is definitely not what a fragile little uh, gargoyle wants next to them. Alright. There we go. Oh, I gained two levels of shields, which gave me a shield value, which is something at least. Alright, well, this is some sort of really nasty vault, so I should try and bring some of the stuff back a bit towards the staircase, I guess. Alright, let's see if it's fine. <laughs> Everything seems to be dying. It's all these little slime creatures, so I might just bring it back. Uh, I don't like how there's an invisible guy here. Oh, it was right next to me. I thought it might be okay, so I can... Get it behind that guy. I might just... I might just zap... Mm, this guy with Quicksilver. Try to get rid of it. Right. Oh. 
How can I get away from this guy? How much is the head for? 22. I was drinking one of these curings, but this isn't quite perfect. There we go. Got rid of it. Because I was just kind of at the point where it could, if it got really lucky, it could have one hit me, but. Uh, can't get the water marks in a view here. There we go. That's better. Yeah, with narrow little corridors, so it always works best for me. Um, What can see invisible? I mean, I guess I can bring out my hound. Although that guy's going to be visible half the time anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. Do I need a... Do I need a talisman, right? I'd rather get the benefits for my armor. Um, in fact, if I kill something with my summon, I don't think it counts as a more talisman, so I would get the health back. I think I'm going to kill it personally for that one. Hey, that's going to work. There we go. Blew pretty much everyone up. I love when I get a whole group of creatures to blow up. Oh, wait. I need to be one closer to my golem. Stop it. Powering down or something. There's an old warrior somewhere with some chain mail regen. There we go. There it is. It's really funny how, like, creatures can just step into turn, like, into a view and then step out of view. And, like, the game notices them there, but you can't really yourself. Gotta blow up soon. There we go. I think in theory the game used to like render the screens um between like your turns and the enemy's turns. Except because the uh, like because your screen can only update so fast, and because the game updates really fast, like they basically almost never sh showed up. Um doesn't quite work here. I might just go upstairs. Although it looks like pretty much everyone's died anyway, so maybe I didn't need to. I know exactly where that roar of battle is coming from. Come on. Time to blow up. There we go. Because I can see the area right down here. And I even saw the... Ooh. Look at that little hound. Gotta try and hide behind my ancestor as best I can. Okay. Bailey's not going to rush me by uh, tell, keep on constantly telling me how far away it is. I got to make my way through this slowly so I can get my health back. I can drop the whip. What else can I drop? Um, Noise, probably? Probably just use the enchant weapon or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know what I should. I'll just put it on this little dagger. <laughs> you know, I have a really enchanted dagger or something. I think I got tons of inventory room, though. This character hasn't really got that far. Well, some other frogs. This one that is like Prince Riveted. This one's actually kind of tough. And a bunch of humans, of course. Um, Alright, something's 12, which is good. What do I want to get? In fact, I probably want to get a little bit of fighting because I'm, uh, I've already got like 50 health or something. I'm not exactly a healthy little character here. Oh, man. Uh, it's hard to stay behind my creatures at the moment. Can I buff my answers? Not really. I'll give it a try. Oh, hey, I think I might have succeeded. Maybe. <laughs> okay. At some stage, I should get some actual invocations killed, but I think the fighting first is probably a good idea. I think I'm actually making a reasonable amount of noise, which is attracting to get some of these guys, but I think I might have got to the end of the group of guys that I've initially attracted, or maybe not. Alright, so there's the heavy hand axe and another heavy hand axe. Guess those probably just all heavy hand axes on the ground. Where's Prince Ribbon? He's probably with like a... Oh, I know this. What is it called? The uh, um, Vault's Guardian, whatever they go called. Vault Guard, that's what it's called. Uh... Oh, it's running away because of all this fire? I mean, sure. That's handy for me. Hey, there we go. Killed the Vault Guard. That's one of the toughest things in here. So I should get... Was I going to get a little bit of invocation? I'll just try to get five with that. Um, 
I'll keep the summoning going just a little bit. 15's uh, definitely on the high side of things. Whoops. I totally turned on the wrong scale. There we go. Anyway, I still 4% fairly, but I'm not doing too badly anymore. Oh, there's another Vault Guard. Um, I don't know if Prince River's going to be the best. Yeah, I go on the Vault Guard at least, but I think I lost my ancestor. Oh, well. Yeah, the problem with Prince River is you can kind of, like, get behind me. Oh, he's going to die. Hey, there we go. He burned to death. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay, what are these guys got? They got more broad axes, which I don't need, and they're guarding the treasure. I feel like generally this is one of the tougher Baileys, but not for this character. This character can blow everything up. Which I the place our gold does tend to be pretty useful early on. Uh, so yeah, they're all heavy hand axes. Alright, let's get out of here. That wasn't too bad. It got me some XP. Got me some consumables, not that I know what they are yet. Stuff first? I don't really do our spells, do I? Oh, there's a Horfrost Cannonade. Permafrost eruption. What is this fifth level spell, right? Ice alchemy. I don't know if I can get that going, but it's tempting. Maybe. I'll think about it. Got uh, Magnifold, Maxwell's, Passive Coupling, Plasma Beam, Shock. Oh, yeah. Dreadful Rot, whatever. It doesn't really matter. They're not summoning spells. Oh, I'm tempted to try and get the cannons. I always feel like the cannons should be a summoning spell, but I guess they're not. <laughs> Oh, tough for any, uh, for your pure melee, usually, yeah, it's tough for that sort of character. I mean, tough for anyone that kind of can't put someone between them and all the vault guards, really. I've had problems with, like, that sort of error and archers, everyone, really. I mean, I've done it before, I think, with mages, pretty much, and that's, like, it. Yeah, I have the ladder entrance, but I might do one more level of dungeon first. Um, whoops, that is the lair entrance. Uh-oh. This guy's a sneak up behind me. There we go. Got a little hound in the way. Um, I might just find another staircase. I almost had those, like, in a good spot, but not quite. Hey there, Manticore. I should be out over here so I can move when that guy's about to blow. I should also get my answers his health back. Alright. Because that's uh, something I still don't want to get myself, like, stuck in a corner or whatever. Um... Oh, hey, the little Cyclops. I didn't even die to an explosion. I guess there's a point where the enemies start getting a bit tougher, right? But they're not just instant dying to one explosion. I mean, I know some of the Bailey guys were tough enough not to instant die to a single explosion as well. Ooh. I think so. Oh, the shadow guy did notice me. I was hoping I it wouldn't. Um. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna get next to me. Um. Fine. Yeah, I think it's under control. Maybe. Alright. Should move in here, which should be fine. There we go. I think everything's fine. There we go. I blew it up. Um, oh, a gargoyle. I'm not on the best health right now, but this is probably okay. Yeah, because the enemy gargoyles also don't have that much health. Oh, I can't, I can't wait for that fire to blow up. Come on. <laughs> hey, I got my answers back. Good. So I got some sort of protection. Yeah, characters like this can have problems with Hydra, though, because they um, don't have a lot of health. I mean, I do have some armor class, but a Hydra can still... Absolutely shred through this character if it got next to me. So it's like all the corner hydras that could be a problem. Oh, got some identify scrolls. I could oh, I should probably fight this guy first. But I can go identify. I've got four of whatever this is. Four telepods. Oh, that's a good one to get out of the way. I've got also three invisibilities. Alright, just in case I get the uh what's it called? The spider nest or something. At least I can go over some invisibility scrolls. Whoa, that looks tough. It's like a full night here, an elven night. 
Yeah, not going in there. Also, the acid dragon as well. Well, those invisible guys. Yeah, that's absolutely mad at me. There's also, uh, Gaijuro's ghost, a minotaur fighter of the shining one. Hey, I gotta approve a shiny one character. I find the shiny one character is really fun. Oh, I could just stab this guy. Nah, it doesn't do much. <laughs> don't have the skill. Yeah, Van, I don't think I got any, like, weapon skills. Um, I can't just tell, like, one of my guys to go attack a different thing, can I? I don't think so. That's a shame. Because sometimes you kind of want to do that uh, with this creature approaching you from both sides. It's like, oh, not half my guys uh, approach from one side, not from the other. Ooh, this isn't quite right. Ah. Not me back here, yeah, which is going to... Stop my guy blowing up. Oh, the death talisman just ran to me on the ground that I didn't notice before? I mean, uh, if I want to go extend it, that could work, but I'm not sure this character does. Also, I'm a gargoyle, so like, I've already got the resist torment. Uh-oh. That was a bit silly of me. <laughs> got myself in a spot where I had to blow myself up. Um... Hmm. Still looking for souls of fire resist, but still nothing. I can't be petrified, that's actually kind of cool. Gargoyle reason, I guess, is I uh, can't be petrified. Oh. But I say Gargoyle, like, in general, is a pretty good race. I mean, they don't have a lot of hit points, but everything else uh, about them is, like, really, really solid. Um. Ooh. Okay. Someday I'll blow up these elephants. On a gargoyle, it really doesn't seem that necessary, does it? Wait, what doesn't seem that necessary? The, the death tallies, but no, not really. Uh, um, I mean, it's still needed for two, but like the rest... Oh, I forgot to tell the invocations. But everywhere else, it's like really optional. And it's probably not even worth the XP. Whoops, I blew myself up again. I gave him blowing myself up. It's kind of crazy. Uh... All right, Blink Frog. I don't think Blink Frogs are going to be too super terrible for this character. They tend to be worse for the characters with, like, less AC. Um, ooh, plus five rig mail? Can I wear that? If I put it on, I don't really lose any evasion. Let me try it on, see if my spells are still castable. Um, well, that's one evasion. Oh, yeah, my spells are still castable, maybe because they're three end gifts. I'll definitely keep this one on. It looks pretty decent, because, what, Cobra is three end, but it's stealth. I mean, stealth probably doesn't matter. Uh, actually, I've still got two stealths with it on. So it probably actually makes up for the stealth I lose by putting on the heavier armor, which is kind of funny. Oh. In fact, I think one of the only resists I don't have right now... Oh, I don't have resist corrosion, but I also don't have the fire resist. Alright, so I can identify... I've got two of whatever these are. Two fear scrolls. This is always good. Do I want to figure out what snake does not fully explode? Ah, uh, I'll take a look around. Probably just a plot or something. Oh, it's, uh, is there something around here? No, there's a... Uh... Oh, yeah, it is. Is it? I think it might be that plot. Oh, sometimes it doesn't feel like super worthwhile. Yeah, it was that one plot. I could get to the space behind it. Although I could kind of see that there wasn't anything in that space. So I don't know why I wanted to go order explore it. Uh, Orbit Destruction, Ball Lightning, Fireball, Bounce Sphere, Bronze Valley Boulder. Those aren't summoning, but they are good spells. Those are like the, all the orb spells. Oh, hey there, Hydra. At that a good distance. Well, um... Good distance is anything that's not right next to me, because then I can blow it up properly. Without it... Getting next to me. Uh, what is the stuff? It's not gonna be something. It's the stuff of fire. Hey, that's fire resist. That's not too bad. Alright. You need to run at some stage, because this is a whole bunch of death yaks. Could I run? Wait, I can't run through here, right? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to run back to the staircase so I know how to get to. 
I don't want these all to arrive at me at the same time, so I'm going to have to take another staircase. Oh, where's my answer? So there we go. All right. One death yank down, two more to go. I can get myself... I'm actually going to get myself a little bit more shields and a little bit more fighting, I think. Hmm, let's try and get myself some defenses. This character is actually reasonably well defended with armor class, but I want to top out some of the other resists. Oh, come on, give me a... Give me a Guardian Gold, not a Guardian Gold, this is old name. A Belazard Golem. Um, anything I want with these spells? No, these are kind of the wrong sort of spells. It's either for a destructive mage, or I guess Metaphor Assault's a more of a late game spell for a uh, melee character. Very late game spell these days, though. Oh, whoops, I blew myself up. Hold on, I was meant to be using that stuff for fire, wasn't I? Where did I put that one? Uh, there we go, there it is. I'll still make my way back to it. Alright, that should top out my fire resist. I'm missing the resist on that drink. Uh, I'm missing the willpower, but everything else is there. And I don't need the willpower in the lair itself, so I've got time to get that. Um... I think the first place that kind of needs it is the Elven Hall. Not the Elven Hall, what am I saying? I mean, that definitely needs it. But the, the Orcish Mines, because you get the, like, the Sorcerers and stuff that can paralyze you. And that sort of thing. Oh, I got the Blink spell. I might learn that one. It's 70% failure. That doesn't sound too bad. I think I've got plenty of spell levels. Ah, nope. Nope. I'm not going in here. So let's just gold. Just gold on these plants, I think. But I have no acid resist. I'm definitely not going in there. Right, safe points is fine. Now that I've got the fire resistance, I think I'm, am I immune to poison or something? As a gargoyle, I am too. So that should be kind of nice in the snake pits. I mean, it's nice in the spider nest as well. But the spider nest is uh, kind of a bit worse. Um, just in general, but also for gargoyles, because it's really easy to get one hit with like an orphan destruction if you have such little amounts of health. Oh, more chat weapon that doesn't apply to the staff, and I kind of don't think I'll be swapping away from the staff for a pretty long time. Chainmail fire resist. I kind of like my current armor, but I do have the one fire resist, which is probably all I need. All right. Any of these guys got some spell books for me? I think that's what this character. Needs the most of the moment. Ooh, Druid. Um, I need to notice me that I need to step back. Ooh, ow. That's not right at all. Um, oh, I gotta start a teleport. Okay, I think it missed me. There we go. No, that's uh, completely not right with all the little guys can be like, oh, there's the drones again. Uh, Why well, am I doing the hordes? I don't see them. I might actually just go downstairs and leave the swamp B for now because those drones look like a bit of a problem. Also, this stuff all looks best because I can see one of my other staircases from here. I'll bring the shark upstairs. Shark should be fine, right? No one here has any blood, I don't think. Like, I don't have any blood. My ancestors doesn't have any blood. I don't think a blaze eye golem has any blood, so yeah, I think I'm good. Alright, well, this side of the level seems fine. I'm just worried that I'll attract everything with some blaze heart golems. Oh, there's some um, blink frogs. Those are fine. As I determined before, when I was fighting these guys. They don't seem too bad.
Oh, there's another one blowing up. All right, next group of these. I gotta remember that I can't chat with magic, but I also don't seem to be having any problems with magic with this character so far. Um, it's only later on when you get the sort of mid-level summoning spells where you first start having your problems with magic points. But summoners tend to be fairly efficient with their magic points in general, so it's not usually a big deal. Hey, there's a, a little Jeeva altar. Uh, I, have there been any changes with Jeeva? I feel like there was a change where... I'm not sure it actually would throw it up, but I thought it was meant to be a change where, like, you couldn't hurt your own slimes anymore, but I could be entirely wrong on that. Um. Ah, I think everything's dead. Oh. Oh, I know these rhyme drinks got definitely got changed in a way that doesn't really matter in most changes. So they're flash freeze. That gives you, like, the frozen condition. And apparently they didn't use to be able to use it on you while you had the frozen condition already. Whereas now they can. But it doesn't really matter with a single one because, like, the cooldown is on the flash freeze tends to be longer than the time that the frozen condition lasts. But it might matter if there's multiple of them or something. Oh, I need my answers back. Come on, there we go. But I didn't even realize there was a thing, but yeah, the cooldown did sometimes feel a little wonky, but... You just don't get, like, multiple of them often enough for it to really be that noticeable. I got Stone Arrow, Possible, Sad Blast. I mean, if they're good with us, oh, what's this? Boots of Resist Code, Resist Code, but it sometimes slows you? Uh, man. I don't know. I mean, they seem okay, I'm just not sure I want to occasionally be randomly slowed. Oh, whoops, I blew myself up. Ah, push me away from my golem, means I can't keep it powered up there. Alright, is this the end of the level though? There's still a whole bunch of guys to go. These elephants are kind of awkward because pushing you around makes it hard to stay behind the golem properly. That looks fine. There we go. Oh, I didn't do anywhere near as much damage as I like, although it did actually burn quite a lot. It just ended the fire. Alright, what's the way down to the last level? Oh no, all three of my staircases are right here. That's a problem. Well, could be a problem depending on how many creatures come along. Oops, I blew myself up. Of course, am I even wearing a helmet? I'm not sure I can, uh, but that helmet doesn't look that useful. Not hat, I mean, it looked that useful. Uh, I don't know, does it matter which one of these staircases they go down? I mean, kinda, but also not really. Alright. Hey, I can fly. That means one of my rings is, like, actually useless now. I, I should probably take it off, right? Just so I think it makes it a little bit quicker to put on another ring, but I need to do that. Um. Whoa. Okay. This is fine. Do we need to make it back to the staircase at some stage, though? At least there aren't many creatures left. Alright, let's check out the hat. So it's just a plus zero hat. I'll uh, put it on just for style reasons, I guess. That's not quite what I want to see. All right, so let's try and put the hat on again. There we go, got a little blue hat. I mean, it's a wizardly hat. Makes sense for this character. I am a... Well, I'm kind of a mage. I'm a summoner. They count as mages, right? Oh, I'm going upstairs. They don't play like a lot of other mages, so they kind of go to their own nice, unique play style, where you're kind of spending most of your turns actually waiting. It's all about positioning your character very carefully to make your summons do what you want them to do. Like, I used to kind of struggle with summoners, and I think just getting an idea of where your creatures are going to move really does help a lot.
All right, what's happening? My fighting's going up to 12, so I got 80 health, which still doesn't feel like a lot, but my fighting's actually quite high, so I might just get some summoning. Um, and I'll get some spellcasting, because I could definitely do it with a bit more magic points. Uh, invocation could probably also go up to H. Yeah, that's probably good. Um, how are these spells? They look fine, right? I mean, the blinking's, uh, oh, I should probably get the blinking going as well. I just need transications, like, I don't know, four, maybe. But I'm gonna try putting a biggest shield, see if that's still usable. Yeah, I mean, the blinking's the only one that really suffers, suffers so I'll just put on the biggest shield. Um, oh my god, I went to sleep, whoops. Oh, hey, the boss level, you tired yourself out? I mean, I guess that's one way to enter a chat. I kind of like the, the timeout command, though. I actually got that one to work properly. And it wasn't that hard to get working, but... Still, it's something. Uh... Oh, it's right a petrify all my guys as well. That's right, because the petrify actually um spreads now. Do well, I do it all right today, uh the boss level, yep. Well, I've been doing so well recently, so I'm a bit worried about that, um, to be honest. I'm gonna pull in everything. I might just teleport as soon as this mic wears off, which it did already. Do have the fire this? But these hellhounds are not taking a lot of damage right now. I mean, perfectly honest, blowing them up with fire is not the most effective. Yeah, oh, that doesn't work. Um, I mean, I do get some physical attacks in. I'll, oh, wait. If I just stand back here, I guess. There we go. Let's see the finish them off. Oh, there's something. Oh, my answer's coming back. You know, I might just go back to one of these staircases, actually. That doesn't seem to be working. It seemed to be trying to go to, like, the unexplored terrain or something when I told it to go back to the staircase. I might just go hide in this little corner up here. At least I can hide this one. How have you been doing the boss level? Have you been doing all right? In the, whatever it's been, the, like, week or something since I've been streaming? Oh, I blew myself up again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm confused by these elephants pushing me around because I would have positioned myself perfectly if I hadn't been pushed. I always forget about the pushing. Like, that guy pushed me as well. Ooh, this actually doesn't look the best. Hold up. Can I... Idealize my ancestor? Good. And then transfer it into here. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah, that's exactly why I got my god abilities going. They get yeah, the hefty quad ones can be really useful. But I feel like uh, at some point it kind of becomes a necessitary necessity, I mean, uh, if I can speak today, to actually use the abilities on Hefty Aquad just to keep them alive. But I often find myself, like, running out of piety around vaults and stuff, which is alright, but, well, not so much running out, but, like, going down in piety. Uh, I don't think quite right. I should probably idealize my ancestor. Well, I think I just failed that one. Alright, I want to retreat back, but I just got to wait for some of that fire to go away. I'm not walking through that. Oh, book, come on, give me something. Hellfire modern. come on, be a something thing. I don't think it is, though. No, it's a fire earth spell. Oh, that's a shame. It really feels like it should be something, though, because it does summon in some little cannons. But, uh, apparently it's supported by, um... Well, they named Vahumid, which is kind of cool, because that means that Vahumid's let it end in Hellfire line now actually might be able to let it end in Hellfire. Okay... I've got to back up, I think. This is fine, I think. Yeah, I've got everything kind of in the vaguely choke point there. What's up with my... Huh. I don't know, my golem wasn't running into attack. I don't know what I was doing there, but that's fine. Sometimes I don't quite understand what the AI is trying to do in this game. Uh... 
All right. Let's get to blowing some more stuff up. It's definitely working. Is that a statue talisman? Do I even want a statue talisman? I don't even know if I want a statue talisman. I don't feel like I really do. Uh... Whoops. Would it even help out my armor class? Because I don't think I can keep my gargoyle armor class to iron statue form. I'm actually not sure about that. Because if they stack together and you got a ridiculous armor class, I mean, that would be alright, but I don't know if they do. Alright. I bring out my little hound as well. Although it'll probably get itself blown up, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, it didn't quite get itself blown up, but it's very easy for it to. Oh, whoops. Ah. Came up powering down my golem by accident because I. You did used to have to be next to it, but it didn't used to be quite as good as this now. Oh, yeah, the ground tells me I can't even use because I'm already a statue. Fair enough, I guess. So I will never know whether it would stack or not. In fact, a uh, statue talisman doesn't usually melt uh, too many mutations, so probably if uh, it would stack. Oh, oh, I buffed my hands since they still died. That's sort of a problem with this hellhog. Can I get another fire resist? I don't know if I can. Oh, whoops. Ah, I accidentally removed a ring. I might actually start a teleport here. I'm not sure this is going to work. Yeah. I honestly don't think it will. Anyway, I'll put that strength I accidentally removed back on. That was a bit of a waste of a turn, though. Oh, the book is a book of already read. Come on, game. Give me some summoning spells. Don't make me use my starter spells all the way to the end of the game. Oh, it's fine at the moment, because like, the starter spells are perfectly capable of clearing lair. Oh, what's... Ugh, I don't have my ancestor. I'm sure they'll be back soon, but still, it wasn't ideal time again yeah, that they are. Because they're alright with these, uh, towns and stuff. Alright, there we go. Go to the big fiery hog. That was the one that I was mainly worried about. Excellent, done with the lair, so I've got... Where do I have to go? I've got, uh... I guess I'll just do my general dungeon level 12 in the Orcish Mines. Oh, a spellbook, excellent. I've got Morris the Thief carrying a Wand of Roots and a plus two cloak. Well, his cloak's better than mine. Better than my lack of cloaks. Uh... What's this guy gonna just die in the fire? I'm from Morris with Wand of Roots, I might try to bring him upstairs. Where even is he? He might not follow me up because my ancestors would be attacking him if he did follow me up, so I'll just take another staircase. Oh, hey then, Nurgle, come upstairs with me, please. Nurgle, at least I'm next to him. Whoa. Hold up. Is that distortion? Oh, it is too. Okay, I'll just sub my ancestors back in. <laughs> Get them out of the abyss. Um, yeah, that could have been bad if I had been hit with that distortion dagger on the way up the staircase. But there wasn't really a lot I could do there, right? Like, I just went down the staircase and I was straight next to the guy, so... Oh, I don't know. Oh. That's kind of awkward getting rude all the time. Um... Come on, just let me out of the staircase. I don't know what i do against that guy. Okay, is this the staircase I can go down? It is what I can go down. Because they just keep it going invisible, which is really awkward. Come on. Oh, I did wait a turn. <laughs> There's uh, nothing going to happen when I waited that turn. Like, no one go wounded or anything. So I was like, wait, did I actually wait a turn? Or was the server just lagging? Alright, let's get some more intelligence, keep these spells going. I think they're doing pretty well. In fact, the blink's down to 4% failure again, because I guess I did, I did, uh, I did, I did get the skill to go with that one. So many things, let's do a scroll, vulnerability. I don't know if I've got anything to go with that. I mean, I guess I got polymorph now. Oh, I got charming as well. Uh, I should be behind my headset to here. Definitely. Oh, wait. Ah. 
I was right off, well, I did roll off with our man, so it's like, even accidentally doing that, I mean, it's easy enough to do. Um. Okay. Some of these guys, they're not going to merge, are they? I think I'm perfectly fine. What did my armor give again? I can't remember. Cold resist three enters, plus five. So I don't think it's worth trying to... Oh. Go for on some troll leather armor or nothing like that with this character. All right, this time I'll make sure I get my ancestor back instead of running off without them. Any of these summoning nauseous fog, vile clutch, and Alice intoxication? No, unfortunately, still not the summoning spells. Maybe I can buy some summoning spells in the Orcish mines. We'll see. Oh, yeah, Morris was uh, fine. Just had to let my ancestors do all the work. So I dropped the flight, dropped the stuff there. I don't think I need any of the stuff. Uh, draw the buckler, although I can come back for the buckler if I ever, like, uh, get a tougher spell and I need to put on a smaller shield or something. Alright, just sleep there, Kenrad. Alright, oh, you nearly fell asleep on the chair. Have a good night, Kenrad, and I'll see you some other time. Good luck with the run. Yeah, this run's doing pretty well. Oh, I might just go to the Yorkish Mines. So I feel like this one's definitely got a it's definitely on track to be a win, but we'll we'll see how it ends up. You never really know with this game though. Sometimes it just throws the wildest things at you. Oh, I don't need this trident, it's anti-magic, unfortunately. It's plus eleven, but Nah, an anti-magic trident sounds pretty terrible. Oh, it's gonna back up a bit. Maybe all the way to the staircase, even. Yeah, I think my axe, uh, no, but, uh, my answers have finally got an axe, which is really great. For cleaving through all these little looks. It should, I think it starts off as a flaming axe, which is great, because that, um, good for areas like the swamp and stuff, where you've got all the hydras, and then eventually it gets a speed, but by that uh, point you're not fighting hydras anymore, so it's um, actually really good timing on the brands, which I think is on purpose. Yeah, because it'd be kind of bad if your dancers had the uh, wrong brands and gave hydras heads or something. Oh, how did I get confused? And, uh, I think the orc wizard got me. I still don't have the huge amount of willpower, right? Nah, it's got like one pivot or whatever. Oh, whoops, blew myself up. But yeah, I'm not so used so to having the things tied away willpower. Um, I'll just check that there's not something I want on the floor. Like, I don't know what I'd want, but I'll check. Nah, this is like normal stuff. Let's go downstairs. I got, I think, all three ways down, so I've got plenty of choice here. Oh, hey there, two-handed ogre. Getting a, uh, like, an ogre ending wouldn't be too bad. Because those ones are like, well, I could get paralyzed with ogre endings. So that could be bad. But everything else is not too bad about an ogre ending, I don't think. Oh, whoops, I stepped into the fire. Oh, that did too much. Uh... Do I paralyze my ancestor? Still paralyzed, like... Even if I buff them, they still say paralyzed. I actually got to run away, I think. These guys are fine. Um, I think. Yeah, there we go. I can just run, get my ancestor back, and then come back to fighting these guys. Oh, come on. Blow up. Uh, there you go. Oh, I guess it, uh, the enemy is dispelling it, isn't it? That's probably what's going on there. It did feel like it was timing up pretty quick. Wait, you can put the, like, the fire, the exploding cause to sleep? I had no idea you could even do that. That's kind of hilarious. Um. That's not gonna work. Yeah, maybe it will, because my ancestors taking these guys out. I I'm just gonna wait around here till my ancestors are, like, dead, and they're gonna run away, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's just get out of here. Alright. 
Why, uh, Mr. Wes, it's all way at the back. It's just water, uh, wondering whether they're on the level or whether they're dead, but no, they died in the last minute of their own that escape. They held back the enemy so really well. Oh, don't put it in a guy that can mutate me. Hey, there we go. I blew it up straight away so I don't have to take the negative mutations or something. Because a lot of those, like, early negative mutations kind of do require resetting. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to have to idealize. I'm going to idealize again. So many... things. Um... I can throw a Quicksilver through this guy. Okay. I just got to run. I can see I do a bit of smiting to my health, but it's not going to take me down with that. There we go. Now I'm uh, nice and full health to fight this guy. It makes it a lot easier. I was plus 8 ponderous plate armor. I don't think I'm going to wear that, but it's interesting. Yeah, my is going to die. I'm just going to run away. Go all the way back to the staircase, I think. Uh, usually, like, choke points like that are quite good for a lot of characters, but I'm not sure the character does the best at, like, choke points. Um, I guess I do alright, because I can kind of just wait for my answers to like, kill things. Whoops, why don't I summon a couple of quokkas? I should probably have... Ah, uh, no, I probably should I don't really need anything quivered up. If the blaze up feels a little dangerous though, with the quiver, if I accidentally cast or something, well, charge up is useful. Fear is useful. Uh, teleport's useful. What else is useful? I guess I identify as... Uh, maybe a vulnerability? I'm not sure. Ooh, Phantom Mirror is good. What else have we got? We've got an unknown scroll. Um, I think I actually do need a ring in fact. I think I'm short on a ring, so yeah, that works. Grabbing the one in there. Alright, what other things have we got? Got a throwing net? Maybe. I don't never really expect to throw a real thing. Curing Potion might identify... There's another rig. I'll see what else I got. And boots? And an amulet? I think I need an amulet, right? Yeah, it looks like I need jewelry. Alright, so I'll start with the amulet and boots. Um, amulet's regen, which is alright. Boots are... Plus one, which is alright. Alright, what is this job again? There was something here. There was uh, another ring. What's the ring that I grabbed? Did I grab a ring? Uh, hold up. It might still be here. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'll try and grab it, see what it does. The rig of... It was either the fire or the ice. Probably the rig of fire, right? I'm pretty sure I already had a rig of um, ice. That's alright. What else is there here that I want to grab? Oh, I can't afford the Phantom Mirror anymore. Might as well grab some of these scrolls and stuff. And I might just grab... Basically everything here. Go identify. This will do. They got some enlightenment, some berserk rage, and some mutation. Well, I can drop the berserk rage. I can drop my old boots. I can drop. I'll probably drop. Uh, I guess I'll drop the resist corrosion boots. They're all right, but like they do have slow on them. I don't need the enchant weapon anymore. <laughs> now they got the stuff. Don't need the mind. Don't need the berserk rage. All right. Um. Why can I enchant? Do my boots? I can do my gloves. I might do my gloves. There we go. Man, I got nice little blue boots now to match my hat. Um, anything else I want? I think I just gotta save up my money and go back for the Phantom Mirror at some stage. So I'll just go into the dungeon. Keep on going down on that one. Uh, what? <laughs> I'm clearly not casting the right spell there. Like, unknown spell doesn't seem quite right. That doesn't seem horror. Probably is. It should be fine. Yeah, my answers are dealt with it before I even had to really worry about health or anything. Oh. Okay, I can still step back from the explosion. I almost stepped into it then, though, because I was about to step into that. Well, the area next to it. No, oh, didn't manage to sneak up on this guy, that's fine. 
the centaurs are kind of weird because like they pull out the uh, melee weapons and like melee range, but like if it's attacking me and my ancestors next to it, it's still used as like its range weapon, and then it just hits my LA in like melee range with its range weapon sometimes. Kind of strange. What's those long blades? I don't think I'm gonna use a manual of long blades, really. Oh, the humans got in the voltage. This shouldn't be too bad. Because they don't get frozen, which I don't think I'll be able have any problems with that. Alright, well, there's the fact the vault entrance. I just gotta go down two levels of the dungeon, and then I gotta go do the um, state pits, I think. Oh, book. Come on, give me something. Animate armor? Leads rough deconstructed magnet vault. I can try an animate armor, I guess. See what it does with this level of armor. So it has 53 health, and it does 2 times 17 damage? Eh, that's something. Why did I even put that on? Was it E or something? Nope, that's blink. F, alright. I could try put on some heavier armor just to make this better, but I don't know if I've got any of that lying around. Because I know if you got like crystal plate armor, all this kind of ridiculous. Because I hit for how much damage is it? I can't remember. I know there's some like a command you can do with the bot to figure it out, but uh, I know it's a lot. Um, okay, what can I do with these guys? Can I blow them up with some emulation? No, I can't. Can I? I mean, I can probably hit them with a roots, right? No, I think my ancestors might actually. No, I can't. I can shoot through my ancestors. Good. I just worried that my answers might be in the way or something, but it was fine. Alright. Am I better off with the armor out or try to blow these guys off? I'm gonna try with the armor, see how that goes. How does the army even scale with the uh, spell power? Does it get more duration or does it get more something else? I actually don't really know how it scales. Um, I don't really feel like the damage is a thing that scales. I'm gonna try to blow some guys up. Alright, that worked just fine. We've got another one of these scaled warriors. Maybe I can blow it up. It's gotta work, right? I mean, it did some damage. Yeah, I think blowing up might be the way to go. Does the armor inherit the resist for my armor, or is it just based on the base type? Does that get any core resist? Yeah, I think it's just based on the base type of armor and doesn't care about the enchantment level or anything like that. That's fair enough. Find the man, this is like half dead, it probably is. Oh, the arm is slow, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, wait, what was that? Arm I just walked over it was like chain mail. No, ring mail fire with this. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, only one more level left of the dungeon here. Uh... Oh, I'm bringing everyone out, but I guess I am. I've got to run the magic points if I stick around the thing. I might just go up, go down somewhere else. Not that's going to take me that far from where I am already. Because I know it's all the same case. We're basically the same spot. Oh, can I wear that plate armor? Maybe I can animate it. Oh, I'm going to buff my answers. I don't think this is the best spot for my answers to die. Ooh, yeah, definitely not. I'm going to have to buff them quite a few times, but it's worthwhile to keep them alive. So it's plus six plate armor or two strands. I'll try it on, but I really doubt I can use this. Um... Let's see. 
No, it's a sixty uh seven percent failure on the anime number. Even the blaze art gobs are gonna work, so it wasn't play dumb run. I mean that's not a surprise, but it would have made the anime dub pretty powerful if I could have cast it. That's kind of the problem with the anime dub. Either like you can cast it because your arm is light, or you can't cast it because your arm is heavy, but it would be really good. Uh, I gotta step back. Where's my little belay side gold? So I'm gonna be able to do much. Do you have a fire resist? I don't think blowing this guy up with fire would be the most effective. Is there anything else I want to do to it? I don't know. Oh. Oh, my anime armor doesn't even move up. You know what, I might try to bring it around this corner. That didn't work too well. Buff up my ancestor at least. There we go. I guess buffed ancestor is all I needed. Well, where's the... Where's that... Border beetle getting off to? Oh, it's actually killed my ancestor. I might bring out the blaze heart golem. Uh, I should try and get back to the... No, should I? I guess I'll try and get back to the staircase. Yeah, I just thought there was a good chance that somebody would come along before I got all the way back to the staircase. Ooh. Hey, got my answers back at least. I just gotta, like, survive these guys long enough to, um... The mark's gone. There we go. I, I probably don't actually need to teleport out after all. I think I'm in a perfectly fine situation again. Alright, well, let's get all Sith Martyr on. That would have been another option for this character. That would have at least got me some spells, but, uh, hey. I think Hampley Aquan is very good at keeping me alive. Yeah, it's also your choice with, like, summoners like Hampley Aquan to keep you alive, Sith Martyr to give you some spells and give you magic points. It chooses one of those things. I hate Nethos. Try to bring him around this corner and try to blow him up. Him running away is actually a little bit of a problem. I can get him with... I mean, I could poly him but he's almost dead. I might just get him with the roots. No, I didn't even kill him. I'll try to get him with another roots, I guess. Oh. Ah. Of course. God. Um, I might be close enough for roots. No, he's slightly too far away. Man, he's so good at uh, keeping out of my view. All right, Mike, can hit him with a quicks over now, I think. There we go. Go rid of him. Yeah, at least I'm like poison resistant stuff. So that, or poison immune, so he can't poison me out. That's one of his main things that absolutely slaughters you. Well, I think it's time to go to the... Snake pit now? I don't think I got another arrow yeah, really to go. Uh, oh, that's right. These guys are going to try and constrict me, which can sometimes make it really hard to swap places with my ancestor or armor or whatever I've got out at the time. Um, all right. This is, oh, not so far because my guys give a dying. Yeah, I think those salamanders are like quite uh, resistant to all the fire damage I'm doing to them. All right. Brown the armor, I guess. At least that uh, won't be resistant to be punched, but the armor is kind of slow, which is a bit of a problem. It's like a long way away from the enemy, and I have to woke up. Hey, come on, a spell book shot. This god has something good for me. Come on, summoning spells. Summoning spells. He's got to look at it while the other guy is trying to get up to me. So, got a cactus giant. That is, in fact, a summoning spell. Oh, those are the ones that we're going to go to. It's got an apportation. Servitor is of destruction. I mean, a servitor is technically a summoning spell. It's also a conjuration spell, though. Starburst, plasma, fire. 
Riblite Sublimation Blood Curse of Agony. All right. Served her again with Bombard and Bell Sphere. Another Cactus Giant. Which one of those is cheaper? I think the other one's cheaper, but we'll see which one of those I want to get in the end. The Radiant Ignition, uh, in the Flame Ignition, maybe some stage, but it's not that important. Oh, Morph's not going to have it. This Manifold Assault and Spells and Junction. Oh, Wilderness sounds good. Cactus Giant modified for Summon Forest. Okay. Well, oh, whoops. I can take these other two off my shopping list. I'll just get this book of wilderness, I think. I'm telling you, I'm short on gold. I think I'll try to buy both of the books. There we go. Now I've got a chance to learn some things. So the Cactus Jones 1% failure. I should definitely get that one going. What else do we have? We've got the Summon Forest and the Mana Viper. All right. Why don't you just get all that stuff? And then I should probably rebind some of these spells to be a bit more sensible. So I can put the... I might put the Cactus Giant on F. Animate Armor GSF fine? I don't know. It's alright. Mana Viper I can probably put on H. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Although I might swap H and G around. Alright. Well, what's us don't, don't do with some inventory items. What else do I have? I've got the... Summon Forest, I might put that on E. I kind of like having that one on E for some reason. <laughs> okay, so I got a Cancellation Potion. I might grab that. And some Heal Wounds and some Enlightenment. I mean, there's all things they can use. I don't really need the Curing. Oh, I do want the Magic. I might go grab a couple of those. Rob myself completely out of money. Um, I mean, there's a scroll here I can buy. The Ring of Something. Potion of Resistance. Scroll of Fear, Revelation, I mean, those are all things they can get. Oh, there's more blinking? Yes, please. I'm not in a hurry to get the blinking, though, because I've got plenty. Um, scroll of Poison, okay. I think none of that stuff's like a massive hurry. Wait, was that Amnesia? Oh, this character she does need that, because I'm not with, um, not with a god that gives me Amnesia. Shield Reflection, right? Yeah, it is. I should probably wear that one. Because once they kill the guy, because uh, it's definitely better than my shield, but it's just a plus zero kite shield, I believe. Yeah. I have resist electric. I don't think any of my guys do, but that's all right. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna bring out the Cactus Giant again. It's not quite dead, but it was basically there. With all the poison on it, and the slow health, and all that sort of stuff. Alright. Give me an answer. I can quit around something now if I wanted to. I might quit around the summon forest. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Because having the small mammals quivered up is kind of pointless at this point of the game. I mean, I guess there's no distraction. I can bring out the forest. But they don't do a whole lot else apart from trying to distract creatures, I guess, at the moment. That's some sort of area. It looks kind of tough. What's this guy got his way? The shield is any good? He's got a plus one kite shield reflection, which is exactly what I've got. Shock serpent. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to do the rest of the level before I go in there if I do want to go in there. So I can do it. Some forest, right? I haven't currently marked, but that's probably okay. Uh, if these guys have the curare on them from having their concentrated venom, does that actually do anything to me? I feel like it doesn't with my poison immunity. So I should probably check out that ghost, see if they what I can do as well. Oh, where are they? Come on, ghost. There they are. So they Ditches goes the Coglin monk of the human. Coglins don't actually make the best monks, unfortunately, because they start with like an orb in their offhand, which is not quite the best. It's uh, the best when they start with like two weapons. But what does that sprite even have in the offhand? It's got like a great sword in the primary hand, like some little, little tablet or something. Uh, it's thirty damage. I don't know. I don't think I go find them. Oh, I mean, Coglin ghost shouldn't be that bad because I think they're only single wield, but. I mean, Ghosts in general are pretty bad, so... I think it's still a bit tough for me.
All right, well, at least this character is good against the uh, Naga Rogers because I know some characters struggle with those ones, but they seem absolutely easy with this character. Oh, he's probably finding myself a magic reach out at some stage. He says, uh, Tony, what's this book? It's called, uh, Jail Scarbosh, Mindset of Charge, and Blast Modes. I'm not so, like, desperately needed spells anymore because I did get that, um, what's the book even called? The one that just had, like, all these spells in it? Book of the Wilderness. Yeah, that's always a really good book of the summoner because it kind of does get you all the mid level spells you need. And as a summoner, you do need multiple mid level spells because, well, spells have summon limits, right? So. <laughs> I can even actually bring out the forest when I mean to auto explore. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of funny. Oh, uh, fun fact. Oh, let me just get, go out the bot. But I thought it was kind of funny because I looked at like uh, what percentage of the wins I had on. Where's the bot? On the server I play on. It's actually a reasonably high percentage of the wins. Let me go add the bot so I can go query it. Come on, bot, get in, get in here. So if I do like uh, LG, what is it? Dot, no, it'll be LG1 CPO slash name equals wizard Ike, I guess? Well, if I can spell wizard Ike correctly. All right, let's uh let's give that a try. Cause that'll tell me like the percentage of the wins I've had on the server. No games. Okay. No, that's not how I, not how I meant to do that one. I forgot the I forgot the star in there, didn't I? And there we, oh no, it's not where it used to be. It used to be six point six six percent, but not anymore. No, I gotta win some more games. I love to. My 666 is ruined now. It's 66.65 percent. Some other people got some wins on the server. All right, but I'm sure I can get it back up to 666. No problems. Oh, that's a shame. Hey, Angel, how's it going? How's your day been? Do you do you play Cruel? A uh, dungeon Cruel Angel? Was that not quite your sort of game? Can we first go? What am I missing? I'm missing these couple of summons here. Oh no, you don't play the game. Fair enough. You're doing good though. It's good that you're doing good. Yep. Just playing Step Mania. I'm not sure I've ever heard of that game. It sounds vaguely familiar, but like. I don't even know what sort of game that is. It's PC uh, DDR. DDR is like Dance Dance Revolution, right? Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense for the name, actually. That sounds quite fun. Um, I'm just going to go upstairs. I know I'm not like wounded or anything. I'm just missing a couple of magic points. Uh... Of a USB metal mat that you used to like play it, that would actually make a lot more fun, yeah. Because I feel like some, I mean, those games can still be fun on like a keyboard, I guess, but actually, like getting really into the game, it can always give you like a workout at the same time, right? Uh, oh, where am I going? Uh, getting pulled down here. Ready to bully Tannis? I sure am! <laughs> it's a bonus gate. Is he ready to start yet? Because I can start it basically any time. This character's not going to get finished today. Um, well, unless I come back and do some dungeon crawl like after bonus gate. Depends what time we're stopping today. Oh. Oh, it's pretty much the only cardio you get. Yeah, I don't really do much cardio either. It's... I don't know, I mean, I like I do walking, but it's not like, uh, really cardio, I mean, it's something. Because <laughs> I feel like it just... Doesn't... I don't know, it's just not the, not the most fun thing to do. I like walking, though. Like, I like going out into, into the, like, the local bush and going for a walk, because there's some nice tracks around where I live. I mean, they're not, like, long tracks or anything, but it's definitely good having some tracks you can go for a walk through. 
kind of give you a chance to clear your mind, relax a bit. Oh, he's still doing his quiz games? Ah, yeah, so not quite there yet. I think he's meant to be here, like, half an hour or something. Oh, you don't even, uh, you don't even walk here unless it's on a trail or something. But do you have, uh, monkey brain? I mean, uh, I don't know, but walking's definitely, definitely a lot of, uh, fun if you've got a good track around. But I don't know if I just want to, like, walk in. Like, I certainly wouldn't want to just, like, do walking on a treadmill or something. That sounds absolutely tedious. It's definitely got to be in, like, a nice, uh, scenic area if I'm going to do some walking. What is this? Is that a shield? No, it's just a war axe. I will keep on checking on the enemy shields, but I've actually got a decent shield right now, so... If I don't find a better shield, it doesn't matter. I kind of bought the ancestor, I think. Maybe even step back, although I think this is under control. But the good thing with stepping back there is I can pull the enemies through, like, angry trees. Speaking of forests, this character seems to be doing quite well there, forests. I always find uh, some forests is a good spell, but I don't want it as my only spell, because it is kind of, like... Well, I mean, you can't, like, get it out in corridors and stuff, so it's not perfect. But it's always really great for situations where you find yourself out in the open. Alright, well, let's go downstairs here. I used to do uh, bouldering after work for two hours every day. Bouldering is rock wall climbing inside, sometimes without equipment. Oh yeah, I mean, that sounds, uh, sounds kind of fun. I did, I did like a little bit of like climbing, like indoors type climbing when I was younger, but I never really did a whole lot. But it was always really fun to just say. Uh, Getting the opportunity to do that. Oh, this is not good. This is actually really bad. With all these guardian servers that just popped over the store. I'm not even on, like, full health right now. Hold on, I've got to do something here. I was back when you weighed only 175 and not around 200. Man, I don't even know how much I'd weigh in pounds. Um, oh, let me go do some calculations. Uh, what is it? I think it was like 70 kgs last I checked. Hopefully I haven't gone up since then. Yeah, I'd be around, a, I think around 154 according to that pounds. Not too bad, but I, I could lose like a kg or two. Alright, let's, uh, let's read a tally what I think. Oh, I'm outside, the, I'm outside the rune vault. No wonder there's so many guys here. No, that makes perfect sense. Got a short sort of resist poison? Oh, yeah. Oh, Vashti, yeah, man. The Vashti's absolutely slaughtering my ancestor. Um, I gotta think about this. I do have the emulation, but I'm not sure I can get it to pop quick enough. I gotta try and step back, buff my ancestor. Oh, this is more guys, of course. Uh, but at least I get a chance to bring out the forest in here. Um, might be okay. Hiding back in here. Okay, this match here. Yeah. What else can I do? I mean, can I buff my ancestor again, of course. My forest is gone. I can bring that back out. Am I to drink a magic potion? Not sure. I'll bring out the spiders, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, this is still fine. There we go. The forest has got everything under control. As well as the buffed up ancestor. Although I don't think they're buffed anymore. There we go. Okay, that worked just fine. Bring them around the corner was a good idea. Are you also 5'8 as well? The most you have weighed was 240. Man, I think I'm probably about my heaviest I've been at the moment. Uh, I might be a little bit heavier before, but... Yeah, I used to be, like, really, really skinny, like, maybe to the point of being a bit worrying. So, it was actually good when I put on a bit of weight, but then I, I kind of want to stop at some point. Five, man, I think I'm about that, I think. I'm at 157 centimeters, which I think is about five, eight.
Uh, wait, hundred, yeah, hundred fifty five centimeters. How do, how do I convert these? Um, hundred seventy five is. Uh, I can't even remember the conversions for that one. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's one I'd have to like ask Google to do for me. Oh, do I buff my answers? I think I just bring out some some guys here. Uh, you know what? I'm actually curious. I'm gonna ask Google uh, to convert it. Uh, to what would it be? Feet and inches, I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's give it a try. See what it says. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's not as helpful. I wanted feet and inches. Uh. Okay, well, I guess I can take this many f feet. I convert, uh, what's, I need a decimal point in here. Uh, two inches or something. Oh, yeah, I probably forgot the feet thing, but I'll probably figure it out. Let's see. Ah. My Googling skills are not working. Okay, so I'm, uh, yeah, apparently about 5.8, 5.9, somewhere in there. Somewhere in between those two. You were close. Yeah, I think I've seen my height in, like, inches before, and it hasn't exactly changed in a long time, so. Uh. Because, like, in my country, people, like, sometimes vaguely throw in Imperial units occasionally. Especially, like, older people, because apparently they used to be used commonly or something. So, you do occasionally get to um, see your weighted pounds or whatever, your height in inches. Or even, like, weighted stones or whatever that random unit some people use is. I don't know, people use all sorts of units. Hey, Goose Jason, how's it going? How have you been? It's been a long time since I've uh, seen you. How's your how's your child going? Are they growing up? Well, let's bring out the forest here. Bring out the forest again. I love forest. Such a good smell. I don't know. Well, out the openers. Okay, I can probably unexclude this now because I've done the rest of the level. Um, it looks like most of the creatures that were around the entrance have also kind of dispersed around and everything. Long time no see. Kid is always two by now. Wait, how long have I been streaming? Man, I feel like your child's about the same age that I've, like, that I've been streaming, right? Kind of, it's crazy, like, how much time has been by since I started the stream because it doesn't feel like anywhere near two years. And it's actually getting kind of up to that point. What's a shield of, I don't even care about a shield of poison or just... I do. I have a guy going today. One of the few characters that doesn't care about that. What do I want? I just want more fighting. More health. Uh, I'll get more shields as well. You know, let's just get more spellcasting. I'm mostly like kind of quite high on the spellcasting. But I don't really need too much more summoning. I mean, it helps the spell power a little bit. But. Oh, it doesn't seem the most important to get. Oh, what was that stuff? I hope it wasn't important because it just fell into the lava there. Probably wasn't important. I oh, started watching about two years ago in the summer. The boss level? Yeah, because you were like one of the initial viewers pretty much. I mean, not quite the first one, but you would have been within like the... I don't know, you were definitely here like from the start, back when I only had like, I don't know, one viewer or something. And it would be you sometimes. This dude's shield could be good, right? It's a shield of protection. Because I feel like uh, you're one of the... Well, I guess it's technically your new account, so it's hard to tell with this one. I thought of it I had like 42 uh, followers or something. And almost 50 for, part, uh, for, the, for the affiliate. Yeah, that's right. 
But I remember how, like, the my viewership actually got to, like, the average of what it needs to be, like, three just before I got the 50 followers, which was nice for the um, affiliate. Man, that was a while back now. I can't bring out a forest here. There's not enough space. Why is... Oh, they all minded. It's not minded. Tasted. Every single one of these guys. Alright, well, at least I can bring them out into the forest. Get them all surrounded. Uh, what, what am I missing? I'm missing a Mana Viper. Okay. Why does retreat all the way back? Because I'm out of magic points and I'm a bit wounded. I think I can just go upstairs. There we go. That's uh what I'm trying to do. Well, how are you? Uh, you want to be the good chasing? I haven't been so well recently. I'm kind of worried that the house I'm living in might be making me sick. So I'm going to try, like, stay around in, like, a friend or a relative's place for a while, see if that's the case. Because if it is, I'm going to have to figure out why that might be the case. I'm worried it might be, like, dampness or something, but if I can figure this out, at least I'll have something I can work on, right? That's the plan anyway. Pretty dang good streaming a very niche game no one's really heard of. Yeah, like, I think, um... I mean, that's kind of the case with a lot of roguelikes. No one's really heard of them, but... I think, uh, DCL says it's one of the more popular and old-school roguelikes, right? But it's still not many people have heard of it. Um... I actually do know a number of people, like, in real life that have heard of the game, which is kind of crazy. I mean, obviously, there's, like, uh, my father, who, like, introduced me to the game. There's, but I have, like, another friend who just, like, randomly knew about the game. And I was like, oh, okay. I guess this game is slightly more popular than I thought. I hope you just see the stream going, growing and game getting more attention. Yeah, definitely. No, this game, I feel like it's such a fun roguelike. Oh, it's one of those games that I always return back to. Like, most games I'll just play for... I don't know, like a hundred hours or something, and then I'm done with the game, and that's it. Which is fine, but like, this was the only game that really keeps me coming back. I think it might be mold. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it might be the boss level, because it is a little bit damp, which is what I'm thinking is the most likely cause uh, why I've been feeling so good. Do I want to go to... I, oh, I have a lab branch. Oh. Honestly, I have the swamp. If I go to the swamp, I think that's a good idea. All right. It was a level four. Was a level three of the swamp? No, level three of the lair for the swamp. I think it was level three. There we go. So there's oh, the dragon in here, sir. Hydra. Sure. That's fine. I was expecting a dragon, but no. I guess the dragon's always on level five. That makes sense. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to call the forest, but that's fine. Yeah. So there was uh, something in here. There was a couple of druids. There they are. Can I summon my own forest before the druids do? There we go, it's my forest now, druids. Take that. <laughs> it's hard to tell, like, why the trees are angry. Like, they were they angry because they're on my side, or were they angry because they're on the enemy side? Oh, they're angry because they're on the enemy side now. There we go, now that's my forest. That's better. Well, pretty much the only thing that you could think of that would make you feel sick sooner. You get a take down this better? Yeah. Yeah, because I like went to a doctor and they like couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. But I did like stay at a um relative's place relatively recently and I felt a lot better. So that's why I'm kinda of suspecting it might be like the house being damp or moldy or whatever. That could be the problem. Uh Oh, you come more often, but the time difference combined with the little ones makes it difficult. Well, yeah, what sort of time is it for you, Goose Chasing? Because I know that, um... I know that back when you, like, did a few streams, I was able to catch them. They were a reasonable time for me, but... That probably means it's, like, later in the evening for you or something, right? Oh, it's about to midnight, right? So I, I guess I started, like, almost a reasonable time for you. And then I just kind of continue on till quite late. No, it seems to be like that for a lot of people. I still have started a more reasonable time for them. Because for me, it's, like, uh, almost 10 a.m. Well, 9.45 or something. So it's just, for me, it's, like, relatively early. 
Got an acrobat animal. It's not what I'm after. I'm after... Still after the magic regen, which is what I'm always after. With these good old mages. I thought it knew for you the boss level. That's a... Yeah, I think, feel like this spell time myself for a lot of people, right? Because I think... I think, like, US and Canada are up there, or like, um... In terms of what countries tend to watch me. Although I think, actually, remarkably... Oh, I guess Brazil as well. Yeah, I think my top three are, like, US, Canada, and Brazil. So, yeah, all sort of the same sort of time zone, right? Um... What time is it for me right now? It's uh, 9.46 a.m. at the moment. So I, I usually start around 8, although sometimes I start a little bit later, depending. It's sort of a good time, because it's kind of... When the sun's up, oh, so it's 2.45 for you right now, so... It's almost like you're... Uh, five hours ahead, except it's actually kind of the other way around. Alright, let's uh, go down your how many hours behind that would end up being. I wonder whether there's any countries that are like ahead of time of New Zealand, because it might be. Cause I don't know, sometimes you get some weird uh Oh hey, I'm jumping hydrants the head of the way answers so some weird time zones. I do want to get to this mounting archway. What can I drop? I can drop the do I drop the leather arm willpower? Yeah, I'll drop the reflection, the acrobat. Ah. Uh, well, you can read the identifiers, definitely. Drop the might, okay. They can clear out some inventory this way, so I got our oh, torment. I can. Uh, I might get the torment, actually. I can drop the D dead, at least. That's something I get rid of. Oh, it's a GMT plus one for you there, where you are uh, goose chasing. Right, which I'm on what? GMT plus 12 at the moment, so about 11 hours ahead. Which isn't quite as ridiculous as it used to be. I used to be at like GMT plus 30, which is such a ridiculous time zone, but that's daylight savings for you, right? Uh, how far away was I from this ice cave? It did tell me, right? Distant, I think. Don't think swamp levels tend to be overly huge, so it should be fine fighting this ice cave. Although I don't have any magic regen, which does make it a little bit harder because I'm constantly waiting for my magic points to come back. Oh, I don't want to be out the front. I want my guys out the front. Also, is there a druid around here? Because those trees has got angry and I... Oh, I probably still have my sword forest going, I reckon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I got a fire resist, thankfully. making sure though because I've had a character die relatively recent in here to a well of the wisp that no fire exist. I also super jealous you've always wanted to live in New Zealand. Yeah I mean it's actually I mean it's pretty decent here. Um the economy is like obviously like a lot of places it's kind of gone down a bit recently with all um like pandemic and stuff but I don't know. And it's been like a bit more crime recently and stuff, but uh, also probably due to that. I think I can kill this guy. But it's generally not too bad here. Oh, if I go here though, I can bring... No, I can't bring in the forest. If I was one more step forward, I probably could, but oh, not quite. Never hear about New Zealand news? Uh, no news is good news. I mean, it usually is, right? No, New Zealand's a little bit weird, because, like, you, it's kind of small, so you don't hear about it a lot, but then, I don't know, it's kind of weird, like, if you look at a lot of maps, like, the old uh, maps and stuff, they're actually missing New Zealand, like, even the maps are, like, in New Zealand, if you looked at World Atlases and stuff, some of them were just, like, completely missing New Zealand, it was kind of silly. But hey, at least uh, Google Maps has got New Zealand on it, right? So it makes it feel like a real country when you're at least on some of the maps. Uh, could I identify here? What else have I got that I can drop? I'd like to visit one day, but it's uh, so far away it takes 12 to 15 hours. Yeah, because it's literally pretty much on the other side of the world, right? I mean, you're almost perfectly 12 hours off with your time zone. 11 hours at the moment. 
All right, I got some amnesia. I do want to key down on me. I've got formed results. That's probably enough for this ice cave. Come on, I just want some magic. Oh! No! It, oh, I thought I was waiting my magic points back. It disappeared. I didn't realize how close that was to collapsing. Oh! I should have gotten there just a tiny bit earlier. Man, one last warning telling me that I only had like one turn left would have been nice. Oh, man. Marry you so you can get citizenship. Uh, I guess that's one way of getting into the country. Yeah, I'm not actually sure what the whole like uh, process of the moment for becoming a citizen. Um, I think it's like reasonably hard unless you're from like Australia or something. Then you just head on over. But I've kind of got an interesting situation with Australia. Like if the Australian economy is doing well, like half the New Zealanders just like disappear. And then when the um, Australian economy is not doing so well, they all come back. It's kind of like a whole thing. It's kind of funny. You can kind of tell how well the economies are doing relative to each other by um, how many sort of Australian accents you hear. It's a really, a really funny sort of situation. All right. But at the moment, it's definitely sort of people heading, I think, back over to Australia to, um, because I think their economy is doing a bit better at the moment. All right, let's go identify whatever this is. Oh, a scroll of requirement. That's not bad at all. All right, scroll of requirement. What have you got for me? A scarf of repulsion with harm rampage minus with a bit of dags. That's not that tempting. Manual shields is pretty decent. Coverless strength slang, see invisible. I can't see invisible, right? I mean, that rings all right. Um, it's oh, seven, seven, seven with the gold. Interesting, anyway. So, I either want that rig or I want that shields manual, and either could be perfectly fine. Do you guys have Aboriginal? So, we have the um, the Maori population here, and they, I mean, they. Kind of got a pretty rough time, like, early on when uh, the settlers first arrived. Because of, especially with, like, the diseases. Like, not just the warfare that was going on, but, like, the diseases just absolutely wiped them out. But, um, thankfully, uh, thankfully it's kind of a bit more recovered. But I don't think the situation is perfect at the moment. Um... But yeah, that's a rough thing with, like, islands, or just anywhere that's a bit more remote. Like, as soon as people from another area go there, you just absolutely wipe out the local people with the diseases. It's really rough. I might grab the manual shields. Um. Ooh. I do see a death rate here. Oh, you heard that it was an ancient practice where they would sing to the ocean and manipulate the... There's something? Because sail between the islands? Yeah, because I, uh... New Zealand actually didn't have people until, like, recently, recently. Like, I can't remember how long ago. What was that, like... It's only been, like, 600 or 700 years or something, right? Since people have been to New Zealand? Something like that. Like, they, they arrived here on a... I think it was meant to be a raft or something? I might just read this fog scroll here. So I don't get hit by the venom. Uh, yeah, I think this is going, there we go, that's going just fine. It's always scary seeing the death rates, I love having a few fog scrolls just for the death rates, basically. Oh, the undertow. I don't know, I'm not, uh, not too familiar with all those sort of customs. Um... But yeah, the, the Mars have actually had some really nice, like, impacts on the culture. Like, I, you know how, like, some countries have, like, private beaches and stuff? And how you get, like, the beaches fenced off? Like, a really nice thing that the Maori culture brought is that beaches are, like, public spaces that anyone can go to. And I think that's a really, really nice thing. And I, I, I really don't like how some countries have whole private beaches, because it just seems like such a waste of a... Nice, beautiful beach that people could actually be going to. 
Uh, this is freezing crowd, ignite points a dreadful rot. Then I have this interesting with like the regen spirit guardian fire resist, but I don't think I can really do it with the spirit guardian right now. I don't know, those aren't looking that impressive, actually. The fire is just fine, but like, yeah. Spirit guardian's always questionable when you're a mage and you don't have a way of telling magic or something. All right, let's bring in. Oh, this is gonna be fine. I can fight that Hydra. Better go like thirty something army class, which is kind of nice. Oh, is that your thing? That's how they're able to travel between the islands without sails. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, they also have like. Uh... Don't they also have like canoes? Uh, do they row? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that. That's a thing. Like, cause you have the you have the Kari trees, which are like really big, tall trees, and they're also really like a really straight trunk. Uh, they they're really good for making canoes out of because they can make really really big uh, canoes out of them, like the ones that can fit like eighty people and stuff. Um, although the Kari trees are like uh, all the really really big ones got cut down to make masks for ships by like all the sailors, so that was kind of a shame. So you don't see a lot of the really big ones because they're really slow growing. Um. Like, they're beginning to regrow now, but they're, like, certainly not the, not a lot of the really, really big ones around. I'm gonna bring out a forest here. This isn't perfect. I can buff my ancestor, I'm hoping to keep them alive. Though so I should have actually got more skill with buffing my ancestor, because, um... Yeah, it's not perfect right now. Okay. Oh, hey there, Lurdy. Um, I might retreat. Can I retreat? I think I can. Uh, the wood is gonna speed up Lurdy, though. Oh, do I have a mirror? No, I don't. Okay. If I had a mirror, I could just, like, probably straight up just kill Lurdy, but that's fine. Alright, let's just go up and go down another staircase. I'll probably be fine when I get, uh, get all my health and magic. Oh! Okay. Um. Hmm. I gotta step back. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Oh, I'm constricted. This is absolutely lethal. I gotta hope a blinking doesn't trip because otherwise I'm dead. Because oh, I don't have butterflies, do I? Uh huh. Um. Make sure I'm definitely using the blinking scroll. Oh, man, Lurdy's gonna catch up to me really fast. I gotta teleport. I was thinking of those small staircases, I was going to be perfectly fine, but I was not. <laughs> uh oh. How many turns have I got left on this teleport? I think this was the last turn. I think if I just drink a healing potion, I'm out of here. Good. But that didn't take me very far, so I'm going to drink a. I'm uh, going to do another teleport. Uh huh. Good. I think I'm uh, finally out of that sticky situation. Yeah, that was definitely the worst spot that the. <laughs> Lone and Hydra could have gone to. Um, man, I'll buff up my ancestor, but I'm probably not going to survive. You bring out the sack of spiders. What else could I do here? I was kind of like how England is all uh, fields because during the Middle Ages, we just cleared forests without knowing about the conservation. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, every good tree for making ships got turned to ships, basically. I oh, used to live in the UK, goose chasing. Can you confirm? Lots of fields and farming there. Yeah. No, I feel like the basically anywhere that had good trees got pretty much cleared at some point in history. Man, these roots aren't quite doing it. Um. Bring out some creatures. My forest is gone. I'll bring. Oh, wait. My forest is not gone. Hey, the Lone and Hydra finally died. Oh, thank goodness. Um, what can I bring out? I can bring out a Mana Viper and some animated armor. Alright, I just get back to the staircase. Nice and slowly and steadily. I just splat another character because for the Lone and Hydra, because I think I splatted one relatively recently. Um, actually, that might have just been a regular one. Oh, Tennis hit to uh, jump in a cool at any time. Alright, um, alright, I might actually jump in a call right now, but I might try and finish off, uh, Swamp today. Let's go see if I can give him a call on Discord. I think I opened up Discord. 
Sarah that should be starting a voice call at any stage now. Oh, sir. Hello. Hey there. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Let me just check your volume. Can you say something? Hello, hello, Ike's Chad. How are you guys doing over there? Yeah, I think that's uh, about the right level. All right, well, Chad will have to let me know if it isn't, but it looks about right to me. Yeah, you're looking good on my end, too, so I think we're about all set and ready to go. Look at that. When looks like, uh, you know, now that we've got everything set up in the back end, it's uh, a lot less pro less work each time. It certainly is. Oh, what's uh, Tannis' channel there um, the boss level? Let me go see if I can shout him out. Why is it all letting me shout him out? Oh, yeah, do we? I still haven't set up a shout out. I, I hope do that, that it doesn't care about capitalization here, because that does not look right. Hey, it worked. All right. <laughs> ah, it should be fine. Yeah, I don't think the shout out. Oh, switch out one by it. default, Angel. If you know it, uh, it, can you just go ahead and shout out? Um, just go ahead and shout out uh, Ike for me, please. All right. Well, you oh, gotta try it. Boss, uh... the level. Thank you for joining. Uh, welcome to the Fugitive Theater. My name is Tannis Fugit. Thank you for coming around. I'm going to try to finish off this level with the swamp here, and then I'll uh, be in bonus game, but I might try and see if I can get this game to start up right now. That always takes a little uh, while. You're in... What are you... What character are you playing right now? I am some sort of summoner, a gargoyle summoner here. And they've got Ooh. some decent spells. They can bring out a cactus giant, they can bring out a... Oh, there's a little vampire in here, along with some le liches. Uh, not liches, uh... Oh, what are those guys called? Leeches, that's right. So, yeah, there'd be a sort of summer of Yeah, that would be absolutely say terrifying. A swamp. Yeah, that uh, oh, that's still the old equipment, right? Yeah, it's still the one of junk. But no, I, I really love the summoners. They're a lot of fun. Um... <laughs> I mean, I feel like it'd be nice to have a little bit more variety on the summoning spells, but it's hard to actually do that because with the summoning limits on the spells, you kind of just want to get all the summoning spells you can, right? Uh, I'm going to make your way now, to Goose, uh, to Goose Jason. All right, have a good night and see you some other time, maybe in another year or something. <laughs> we'll see. How, we'll see how time flies. Are you still there, uh, Tannis? Wait, I'm not hearing you there. Is everything all right there, Tannis? Let me just go check on my Discord. Ooh, okay. No, my Discord's still working. Hi, welcome back. Oh, okay. Did I drop off Discord for a second there? You sure did. Yeah, I thought I might have. Because when I um, <laughs> opened up Discord, it was like, had the loading screen again. Yeah, no, it, it, uh, it certainly booted you. Oh, oh well, it, it let me back in, I guess. All right, well, I've uh, finished the level Dungeon Crawl, so let me just go change up stream title and everything. I don't know why that booted me, though. It doesn't make any sense. Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. So I've still got my gargle going here from yesterday. I gotta see... Where am I going with this one? Vaults. I gotta see if I can get a win with this character. They seem pretty promising so far. I think I've got some okay spells. I can get some of his forests. Some cactus giants, smart vibes. I think the other one's armor. Yeah. They've got a decent army I can bring out. They've got my ancestor in there as well, their axe. Pike Ver the Knight. Oh, the stuff. What am I using? A stuff fire. I think it's my only fire in this, so it's okay. Not that I massively need fire resistant here. It'll just help me. So it's like, what? Poison resist? Not really something I need. Uh, I'm wearing chainmail. It's plus five chainmail of harm, willpower, resist, corrosion. My one's cold resist, three intelligence, and stealth. Right, so I don't actually want the harm as a summoner, do I? No, that doesn't make any sense. Um, willpower's good, resist, corrosion's probably good, but I think I need the cold resist in here. Uh, no, I think that's not worthwhile. Oh, he's a little slime guy.
Oh, one of these got up to me. Hold up. Let me get out of mod by for just small places out. I don't think I can quite bring out a forest here, so I might just retreat back a little bit. There we go. Alright, what can I bring out? Another mod by for I guess. Yeah, because getting everything out into like the one of those forests that's forming out in the open always seems to work really well. Is there another guy in here? There was two. Oh, it's so one of these, uh, what are they called? Uh, Polter Guardians. Well, that's such a funny name, but anyway. Oh, I'm getting frozen. That's why I need the cold resistor I got. Okay. Oh, hold on, they're sneaking up behind me. I can't exactly bring out a forest here. The Oh, that's not quite right. I think this guy is under control with the Mata Viper heading in. Right, level... Okay, level 19. What happened to my head since they got a tower shield of Fletcher? Nice. That's going to be useful in here because there's quite a lot of archers. Um, he says generally a lot of archers in this sort of place, like the tall... I mean, sometimes center warriors, there's also like the Yaktor packs. So oh, I did get marked. I thought I would get marked too much in here because I usually have creatures in front of me, but... I'm definitely nowhere close to being immune to being marked. I don't think I've got really much willpower at all. Uh, I gotta bring these guys all the way back, I think. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do so well. Uh, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? I think I'm missing the modded viper. Unless it's just round one of those corners or something. Which is sometimes hard to tell, like, if you're actually missing the creature or if it's just round the corner. Yeah, that's one of the archers where I really need my ancestor. I mean, it's probably fairly good at killing my normal summons. Ooh. Oh, more archers. Uh, I don't think it even noticed me. Now it's noticed me. There we go. Excellent. And yeah, that reflection shield. I wonder how good my ancestors are reflecting. I wonder what it says in here. Oh, it's got, uh, it's got the little pips thing. That actually looks like quite a lot. Like, it's way more than AC and stuff, so it should be fairly good at reflecting back the missiles. Okay, um, what am I missing? I'm missing the Mata Viper. Can I stop this guy recalling? No, I've got a Quicksilver. I think I can get through there because I won't hit my own acid, so there we go. That worked just fine. So there's a flail of magic points of willpower. Mmm. Hold on, that's my own. Oh, wait, I've got another source of fire just for a ring now. Do I have any other rings? Not very good ones. I could probably actually put this on. Willpower's pretty good in here, and so is uh, magic points, I guess. Uh, I forgot the forest first. It doesn't give me a lot of cover. I don't know, something at least. I like how there's a... Oh, there's a hand cannon there anyway. I like how there's a lot of space in here to bring out the forest, although I might right now, which could be a problem. Uh, if I just swap places with an armor, there we go. That gets uh, at least my creatures in front of me. Okay. Ah, I lost my droid, didn't I? Not too much of a surprise. If I just back up into this corridor here, give me a little bit of time. There we go. Now I can bring back my tree. Oh, my forest. It's not just a single tree. Well, hopefully not. I wonder whether the forest is like randomly determined number of trees. I wonder whether you could just get a forest of a single tree. Probably could, under the right circumstances. Uh, I don't need the enchant with them, definitely not, because, um, well, I'm just going to be using artifact stats nooks, basically, as a summoner. Am I missing my unanimated armor, I think? Alright, well, this is feeling alright. Ooh, okay, I'll back up a bit, but yeah, the guy will get next to me, which is not too much of a surprise. I don't think I've got to resist corrosion, it's the uh, only resist I don't have basically, so I can get quite badly corroded, potentially, in situations where I'm getting corroded. Right, how am I spellcasting chances anyway? I've got 2% fail on the Mata Viper. What was if I put on Tower Shield? It probably tanks that, right? No, 5% failure. Am I really buff or something? I've got 19 strength, why? I mean, I know Gargoyles have got bad. Is that just natural, or I'm wearing a ring of strength? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I was wondering about that. It seemed a bit high just to be natural for a summoner. Was there a brand on the shield anyway? It was, uh, protection, was it? Okay. The other one was reflection, which is fine. I think I got the protection one. Oh, no room for the forest. 
Um, what were the rules? I have to be one of the spaces next to me to have ever rounded empty or something. I don't think I can do that in here, unfortunately. Okay, hey there, vampire. Um, that's a visible mana if you can see it, but I'm not sure much else can. No, I don't think this armor can. Okay, there's not much that can see that. Still can't bring out the forest, unfortunately. I'm just gonna rob to these archers so that they don't use their rage tag. Hey, Ensis is back. Just die for Boris. This is probably fine. Oh, actually, I might just go up. Okay. Yeah, just thought I was missing like halfway magic points, so I wanted to go up anywhere. It's just, oh, we can buff my ancestor here. Get them alive. Boris is anti magic, at least. So he's got some sort of artifact robe like he always does. Plus three robe with the devil's team. It gives three strats, but it's not that good. Um, ooh, just slam into the rock wall. Wait, these guys have four sluts? Oh, they do too. I never even realized that. Okay, I thought they just kind of existed to like repel missiles, but I guess they they do other stuff as well. Oh, I'm dropping a floor. Um, okay, it's bizarre on this level. That's fine. Let me just um, I think I should probably magic map if I can. I'll just take out this equipment. Right, so I have the fairly useless amulet on it. I think the book wasn't that useful either. Everybody says I've checked that one already. Just double checking. I've got an identifier. I use that on potions. I've got some magnification. But I must have a revelation. Yeah, i got seven of them. There we go. So the... The Zara's down there, right next to the up staircase. Might try to head that way. Uh, I buy my ancestors because that way I won't get marked. And getting marked at a level that you've fallen down onto is probably not ideal. Alright, I think everything's under control. Fortunately, I've got no magic regen, so it's going to take me a little while to get to where I need to go. Oh, plus four chainmail, willpower three edge. Um, okay, so I gain two armor class, lose three evasion if I put that on. Let's give willpower resist negative. I don't really need to resist negative. Oh, I lose a cold resist. It's not really worth it, but it would help with my whole, um, anime armor thing, I guess, because it is a little heavier, but I don't think it's worthwhile. Alright, come on, get my ancestor back. There we go. Uh... Ooh, that guy can do damnation, right? Yeah, it can. This guy's going to die reasonably quick. Hmm, I think I just sort of let it die. There we go. That's what I wanted to happen. All these crowded corridors. Um, not quite ideal for some. I think I might buff my answers because I don't. Oh, they died anyway. Never mind. I was gonna say I don't want them to die, but hell yeah, I did not do a good job of keeping them alive. What's that trying to do to my ancestor anyway? Is it trying to like polymorph it or something? Whatever it's doing, it's not working on my ancestor. Alright, I'm still gonna keep him going down. I'll grab those scrolls later, I'll just keep them moving right now. I mean, it probably wouldn't take too long to go pick them up. Stately tolling of a bell nearby. Okay, I'm getting fairly close. Uh... See if I've got any items to drop. I could probably drop my reflected shield. I got a full inventory. I can drop the uh, maybe the staff of fire. Got the wand of flame. I could probably drop as well. Um, uh, maybe the torment. Yeah, probably the torment because my creatures probably would like me using torment. Okay. Um, mine is also not that useful. There gives me plenty of inventory space. Let's just go into this bizarre see what we've got. Oh, the ring of fly. Not that I need it. I'm a gargoyle. So cancellation is fine. Mutation's probably something I do want. Lignification, maybe. Ambrosia, maybe. Let's see what other things there are first before I decide, though. Oh, there's spring traps in here. Anyway, there's uh, two summoning. Those could be useful. There's a revelation. There's immolation. Oh, how useful is immolation, though, as a sub, though? <laughs> it's a fake drop, anyway. Ooh, haste. I'll definitely grab that one. It's apparently unidentified. Oh, I had one already. So I don't have a lot of haste. Ooh, brilliance. Brilliance is good. Okay, cancellation. 
mutation. Sure, I guess I grabbed the lignification. I should have enough money actually just buy everything. Um, I think. Well, I've already got 420 gold left. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll get the something, but that's like half my money gone right there. All right. Leave that emulation. I'll come back for my money, but I don't think I'm going to have money after I go in here. They definitely want to buy the mutation. That does not leave me with any money, does that? 25 gold? Can't quite buy that last cancellation. That's fine. I think I got a decent selection of stuff out of that. Let's just get out of here now that I'm broke. Oh, also, I should probably just go up the staircase because I hadn't finished this level. I just got shafted down. Oh, come on. It's got to get rid of that guy in time. No, it got, it got his recall off. But I think it's fine. Uh, I'm missing. Not really missing anything with my army there. It's just kind of doing the trick. Is there, like, uh, not bloke, but I'm trying to say the other one, Stain Roker on the server or something? Because I did see a fairly tough-looking orc. Yeah, there's a bunch of orcs here, but these are the weaker ones, which makes it even more likely that Saint Roker's on here. Because the uh, weak orcs don't really spawn much. Yep, there's Saint Roker. Alright, I'm gonna bring it back to... Well, them back? I'm not actually sure. Anyway, I'm gonna bring them back to here. If they want to follow. Come on. Saint Roker, you coming? I have all the vines to get them, but I, I don't think they followed. I didn't see them follow. I don't know, I'll presumably just meet them at some other stage on this level. Oh, that was the wrong key. I used to hit the summon forest key instead of the auto explore key. Because uh, they're right next to each other. It's like, I got my summon forest equivalent, so it's P for that one. And O for auto explore. Another identify. I don't think I do. I actually have anything left. I must be something. Silence brand weapon. Totally neither of those are useful. So, I mean, silence is like got a tiny chance of being useful, right? Oh, that could spook me because I can theoretically use it when I'm waiting for a teleport to go off and there's a spell cast to say an elf or something about to kill me, but it's not that useful. I'm missing something, other my anime armor. Yeah, it's getting things out of the open and just getting just round of my binds is always so much fun. All right, well, it's a serpent talisman. If I, as a gargoyle, if I turn into a serpent, do I lose all my natural reserves? They do, right? Uh, there's a sky shark. Hold up. If there's a sky shark, that means what's his name's around here, right? Um, Norris or something. Okay. Uh, this is fine. I might just back up a bit and try and get my magic back and stuff before I fight Norris. Oh, no, he's right here. But anyway, I can at least bring out my stuff. I think he does have the... Does he send summons home? No, he doesn't, right? He has a private wave of the draining gate, so he's going to drain all my magic points. Right. But as a gaze, can he do that with his creatures between me and him? I'm not actually sure. Anyway, he's dead. I don't think he could, though. No. I think he might, um... Ooh. My answers are confused. Oh, they are. Okay. There's Latham. Um, <laughs> Latham to figure out what's going on for a little while there. Yeah, I wonder why there was no hostile creatures around. I uh, took a move there. I took some damage. It's like, that seems odd. That doesn't seem right at all. Oh, hey, Andre. How's it going? How's your day been today? Hey, 20th level, I got strength, of course. I think Gargoyle's got a decent amount of strength. How's this run going? This one's going pretty good. It's a run I have going from yesterday, and I seem to have a decent selection of spells. Yeah, this so dope. Oh, I need to buff my ancestor. Um, yeah, because I kind of got, like, an army of mid-level summon spells. I think I got them all for, like, one book, so without that book, I would be struggling. But no, that's made a huge difference. Oh, it's been a boring day, but you want a draconian berserker? Oh, yeah? Well... That's something. How could our draconians uh, be berserkers? I mean, presumably they'd be alright. Um, I know, I won one at one stage, because I won all the draconians at some stage. Oh, they're a bit meh. 
Yeah, because I guess the whole thing is that like they're not wearing armor, so that would help them out with spells and stuff, right? I don't remember it being like a particularly memorable combo or nothing. It's not like the draconian shapeshift, which is kind of a classic one because they can't wear body armor anyway. Or even the draconians made pretty good archers because like it doesn't matter that the archers can't wear heavy harbors. And you get uh, lots of um Oh you get lots of strands of the Draconian with the falchion studs. So it was not the best idea. Right, but I kind of think that might have been the best idea anyway. Because, um, your strength won't help with armor anyway, right? So strength weapons, like, I feel like going a dex weapon is not a bad idea. And just pumping that. Okay. Because that leads that way you get, like, a little bit of evasion. That's what I always preferred on the Draconians was trying to do the dex based weapons. Although I guess that's true, the Berserker wasn't a great start because it doesn't start with a lot of decks, does it? I get what you're saying now. That shield any good? It's probably just plus zero. Nah, it's just plus zero. Am I missing? Oh, all my creatures just despawned at the last minute as they tend to do, like, uh, after the first combat. Because I think the summons did the last a pretty good length of time to actually get you through a combat. They don't usually time out in the middle of combat, but they don't really last any longer. So when you go order exploring, they disappear before the next fight. Oh, what did I pick up? I picked up some Yars, Violent Unraveling, Passenger Galabria, and two Kima's Dance. Alright then. Where's uh, Trog's Gift? That could be like any kind of weapon, right? Like you can't get gifted, I think, triple swords and stuff. Or uh, double swords or demon blades. So I guess at least you still get gifted some weapons. God. Wait. Power of Ghost, I think it's how that's meant to be said. They're a Cobalt Berserker. I don't think I've done a Cobalt Berserker yet. They don't actually look that tough. I'm going to pop the store. Um, I don't know. I could try a Cobalt Berserker, but they don't sound like massively special. Alright, there we go. Got rid of them. So they had, ooh, Summon Hydra. Do I want that? Summon Hydra, I'm not sure. Um, I got so many spell levels, though, so... I can't get the Hellfire model, that's a shame, it's the wrong spell school. Anyway, where's the, where's the Summon Hydra? I can say to search for something, because I'm not seeing it here. You know what, I'll get it. It's probably better than the animate armor. Um... Somewhat, because the anime armor doesn't seem to be keeping up, because my arm is just too light for it. The problem with the summon hydra is like it doesn't live very long. It's kind of more like throwing an orb of destruction at someone. Um. Ooh, spellcasting's twenty. That's actually really high. Why did I get my spellcasting so high? I think it's because I was uh not needing the summoning really for the summoning spells. All right, well I guess I got some more fighting because I still don't really need more summoning. Um, I can also get more shields, because I have a manual of that one, which sounds pretty handy. Because I do have a tower shield on this character. So, I get quite a bit of benefit from that, I guess. Yeah, but if I found some summon horrible things or something, I could start going on the summoning skill again. Or if I found some... I don't know, what's another summoning spell? Summon Dragon Skull or something? Malign Gateway? That probably works for my other summoning spells. Oh, oh, there we go. Got the forest out. Yeah, it was just a uh, one little, like, I think we're standing here or something. It was just, like, one little wall in the way of getting out the summon forest. The hydras actually work well, uh, reasonably well with the summon forest, because you get the water out, which makes the hydras go faster sometimes. Um, at least when they're walking through the water. Uh, Alright. 
I actually going to quickly check that I haven't missed any summoning spells, but I probably haven't because I checked them pretty recently. There's a lightning spire. I don't often end up using the lightning spire. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely a usable spell. It's just... I don't know, often by the time I, like... I guess it's just because it doesn't have the best synergy with, like, the, the, the Blaze Heart Golem, which is often what I end up using, but I'm using my starter spells. I just have, like, a... Constant stream of Blaze Heart Golems blowing everything up, and they don't do very good synergy with a lot of other summoning things. Uh, I'll do those transporters later. Okay. Okay, I can do them now, because I explored the other side. I didn't want to end up transporting myself into somewhere that was actually dangerous. Oh, I might need the enchant armor, especially for my shield. Anything else needed? Maybe the Wrath of Relations, these are kind of expensive, what are they? Antiques, that makes sense. Yeah, the antiques always cost more. Oh, maybe even need the ring. I can't really afford any of that stuff now. Actually, do I have any enchant armor zombie? I do. I should just straight up enchant the shield, because, like, I don't think I'm going to change to another shield. I think this one's actually pretty good. Um, I mean, maybe for a little while when I'm trying to get Dragon School going or something, I'll switch up to another shield, but apart from that, there's no real reason. These guys know how to get out of there, right? I think they do. Yeah, they do. Okay. Oof. Um, I need another Hydra. Alright, um... I think I back up. Alright, there we go. Yeah, because I, I try to get a better damage. It was either that or like try to drink some healing potions or something to get my health back, but definitely backing up was the cheaper option there. Okay. I bring out like a couple of hydras that might work. Uh, sort of. Although they just kind of just get frozen. Yeah, this is still working. I do have the one core resist, so I'm a bit careful of those uh, frost giants, because they can still do quite a bit of damage. We just saw one resist. Because I don't actually have a lot of health. I mean, I've trained a decent amount of fighting, so there's not really much I can do about that. It's just, you know, I've been a. Oh. I want. I thought I told these guys to retreat. It's been a gargle, or they don't get a whole lot of health. There we go. That's better. Sorry, I pulled them out of the choke point a bit. Is my hand in a thing? No, my hand is not in a thing. This one is, so I should swap them out. Um, as a gargoyle, I can't wear a helmet, right? Right? I don't think there's anything stopping me wearing a helmet. I guess there's just no helmets in this game, which is really unusual. Usually the hats are, like, way more rare than the helmets. Uh, I got a couple of hydras. Can't even see what my creatures are fighting, but they should be able to fight if they if I can't see the enemies. All right, what have you got on the ground? So, God, rig mail. I don't think I really care about all that random armor junk that's just lying on the ground. All right, level twenty one. I mean, it's the obvious thing to get, so I'm just gonna get that because I got way too much of everything else. Um, so that should help with these spells. I got 2% fail on the bottom bite because I don't have any hexes. I don't think I've got much of the way translocations either. I got like 4, probably to get blinking going or something, because I'm pretty sure I got blinking, yeah, I do. I don't think I've had to use the blinking just yet, but it's always a good spell to like have if you've got the extra spell levels, which this character does, because I got so much fighting for whatever reason. Did I buff? I think I buffed my ancestor. Oh, they died anyway. Yeah, well. It's a bit worried, like, running out of magic points, but... Apart from that, everything was going fine there. Alright, well, I've done the bolts to four. So I should not do the fifth level yet. In fact, some of us did some struggle with the fifth level of bolts sometimes. Um, I've got most things I need for the oven halls. I guess I'll head to the oven halls. I don't have a lot of health, though. That was a distant wind, hmm. What's this character's chance of being able to actually do a Deathluge Assault? I have a feeling the answer is not great. 
How bad your shields would last mess for long? Alright, uh... When does that buy? I might just be able to run to it, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to just leave. Oh, hey, um, as real. Some of the uniques have apparently been swapped around, uh, like where they spawn and stuff, but Asriel seems kind of normal spot. Alright, I need some creatures. Shouldn't be any of damnation, but there's other things hitting me right now. He has hitting me with fire, but I think this is fine. I can hit him with, um, roots, I think. There we go. Ah, yeah, did the trick. Yeah, because the roots make it way easier for all my um, creatures to hit him as well. Stop getting rid of my summons, okay? I just leave my answers with deal with this one guy. Yeah, these elves are just spamming the get rid of summons thing. Quiet whistling of a wind nearby. That's fine, right? Most of these creatures are the thankfully not your average um, elves that'll be fighting. Okay, we'll see if a wind nearby still. Still have no idea where that is, but I'll just go the only way I can go at this point. Oh, distant wind, so... Not this way, apparently, but I don't exactly have a choice. Distant wind, right, so I just gotta go back this way somewhere. Could I be one shot with the crystal spear? Hold on, how much does that do? It does, uh, up to 102, I think it is. Okay, it's not too bad. I do, in fact, have more than 102 health, but not much more than 102 health. Alright, uh... No, the portal's definitely not that way. It's very nearby, though. Oh, there we go. I probably even saw the, like, the salt stuff earlier, so I could have just headed straight towards it. Um, I forgot the forest. At least the forest should work in the Deathluge of Salt. I think I'm missing right now a Mana Viper, I think. Uh, Cadrops is just low level stuff. There's probably importation. Yeah, importation to necrotize. Um,. Right, do I finally get to rest up? I might want to... Oh, ear piercing. Man, if I want to do this place, I gotta go in, like, really soon. That's sort of a problem. Um, I don't think I can leave outside. I might drop the chain mail. I don't think that's gonna be that useful. Uh, the identify is not that useful. Man, I can read that acquirement just turn into money or something, but I guess I can do that at any stage. Right, well, if I want to go in, I'm gonna go in now, though, but I don't have, uh, perfect magic points right now, which could be a bit of a problem. I'll try to rely less on the hydrants in here because they're not very magic efficient. Um, <laughs> trying to get the magic points back, but they just gave it like popping into view and it's not quite working. Alright, well, I got some magic points. I guess I'm reasonably quiet. Oh, there's some guys. Except some of these enemies are not reasonably quiet. That's always a problem. Like that uh, mage that can do a bolt of lightning, which is really noisy. I don't think it actually did it that time round, but it definitely can do it. Hey, edge of the map, okay. Yeah, it was a really good start spot. The start spots near the edge of the map are so much better because you don't get things coming in from all directions. It's just like, I don't know, basically half of the directions just lead to walls anyway, so it's not too bad. Uh, I don't need a quick blade, but there is one here. Should I happen to want it? Let's go see what it does anyway. Uh, probably doesn't buff it, I think it's just a quick blade of freezing, alright. I think this guy made some noise, I might retreat back and just uh, try to give it some magic points back. So they, oh, gloves are dead, so I've got uh, just gloves, so I can obviously swap those. I think my dex helps with my shield value, like, got 23 shield value. Oh, I even gave one evasion, I gained two shield value, yeah, so that's actually pretty good. I think my amulet's not, like, you know, anything special. It's just, like, regen? Question mark? I actually don't really remember. Yeah, it was regen. 
I knew I'd read it from somewhere, but I wasn't sure where. So this one's reflection strength three and minus two dex. Oh, that's actually not terrible. Because I don't have reflection anymore. I swap my shields for a protection one. Uh, the extra shield value is good. The extra strength is somewhat helpful. I might try it on. I mean, spells are probably more casual now because they got the extra end on this one as well, as well as the extra strength, chances of shield penalty. Ooh, boots. They are uh, plus three end and they allow you to see invisible, but they do give you rampage. One of my boots, anyway, I probably lose a couple of armor class doing the swap, don't I? Yeah, I do. For three into the see invisible, I don't really like the rampage, but that might be worthwhile. Ooh, fire resist, cold resist, willpower resist, courage, but minus five end on that ring. It's got everything except the fact it does minus five end. Alright, well... Hmm, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Let's give it into uh, ring mail, gives two end, it gives lots of strength. I don't think it's that good, though. Uh... Alright, I gotta retreat back a bit. I think I... Well, not me, but the enemy has made a lot of noise there. That was actually kind of tall, because often they're kind of, like, uh, less tall than this, but they're a bit long. Or kind of long, so we'll see what it's like this time around. Uh, okay, that's fine. Give yeah, a miscast and mana viper. Is that down to 1%? It is finally down to 1%. I don't know, it's just, uh, just occasionally seems to be happening. It's a random chance, so thankfully not. Um, not because I've got a really bad failure chance. Why are my guys not killing this guy? <laughs> I'm missing something, Mother Viper. Um, I guess I got some, some Hydras. There we go, that really cleaned things up. Kind of crazy having a Sparkhouse that is actually able to do the Desolute Assault. That's really rare, like, usually... I don't know, I feel like it's usually the high damage melee characters that manage to displace the best. Um, or range characters, they can also do pretty well if they're high damage ones. Does anyone with like a ton of damage that doesn't need to worry about magic points is the usual sort of character that gets through here well, but this character's definitely clearing this out, no problems. Uh, someone with Demon Blade, there they are. All these trees are on my side, like the trees that pre-existed. Um, did I have a trove? I can't even remember if this character had a trove. This on the right button. Let's see. So there's... I don't have one that I know about, so I guess if I have inventory space, I'll take out the Demon Blade, but... I don't know. I could check if there's Demon Blades outside of here. That might be a decent idea. Um, this fog is actually interfering with my ability to fight here. To some extent. Oh, it's interesting with these walls here, the Endless Expanse of Soul. I seem to be able to turn those into trees as well. In fact, for most intents and purposes, those edge of the map thing seem to count as just normal walls. I mean, you can obviously can't dig through them. But you can actually, like, the Endless Ocean ones even count as walls, which is kind of funny. Because you can do, like, the Wujia jump off the Endless Ocean, which is really funny. Um, I need some Hydras, I think, because there's a lot of enemies coming along here. I mean, it probably makes more sense doing a Wujia jump off salt than it does making one off um, an endless ocean or something. Okay. Oh, I think I accidentally waited a few turns there after I was healed up. Oh, the seven dags ring mail of impressiveness. That would already really be impressive if you were a dags based character. Character, I mean, they need positive decks, but a little bit of decks is definitely helpful for their shield, but they're not, like, hugely decks-based. Well, the Dryad is, like, acting like it's invincible, just running out the front. Like, hey, look at me! Uh, I don't need this Ring of Fire if I'm gonna get a Fire of Tension one, because I don't think I cast any Fire spells. 
Ooh, another ring. This one looks like an odd bait as well. So this one's an intelligence ring with limited dex, ice, and slag. Oh, ice is not quite right. Intelligence is fine. Guess I'll drop the ice ring. I mean, it's definitely a better ice ring, that's for sure. A little review of speed. I'm not quite the, the sort of assassin sort of character that would use that. Ooh, Amulet. Um, it's magic region, gives you it, but it does minus cold resist. Can I get a cold resist from somewhere? I'll just drop that demon blade. It's probably not useful. Um, I mean, my current amulet is pretty good, but like magic regen is something that I wouldn't mind. Um, I mean, this cold resist armor around. I'm not no, my armor's already cold resist, right? That's my only source of cold resist on my armor. If I get a scarf or resistance or something, I might be able to use that. But like, otherwise, I don't think I can really use that amulet, unfortunately. All right, what else do we have? Um, I mean, those gloves are the ones they dropped. Just leather armor resistance. I don't know. Uh, cold resistance. I don't see any like armor of resistance in general. No, I think I'm done here. Let's just get out of here. Oh, that's right. Arachne got moved. So she's no longer in the spider nest. Um, And there's a new like Formicent dude or something in the spider nest. But apparently she's like too similar to Jorah Gummos or something. So she got moved. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. Kind of made sense for her to be hanging out with the spiders, but I guess I get the justification that she was too similar to her pre-existing creatures in there. Uh... Oh, it's Mystic Blast and Forward Prism. That doesn't seem that useful. Let's just go down further in the oven halls. Is there any reason for this character to do the Hall of Blades? Like, it doesn't have any spell books on the floor, does it? I don't think so. I think it's mainly just scrolls of, um... Oh, well, I'm trapped for a little while. Whoa. Hold up, I need to... Need some summons in here. Uh, Resist Corrosion is still the one I'm missing, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't think those bolts do too much, but... I gotta keep an eye on the corrosion level that I get up to. I'm gonna try and get back to the staircase, although it's not actually working too well. I might just head back into here. Hmm. Kind of running out of magic points right now. Whoa. My guy's not attacking for some reason. Oops. I'm... Yeah, I'm just gonna try and rest up here. Gonna go my ancestor back. That's gonna count me out. Well, for tell a little long my ancestor stuck around for. Um I wanna tell my guys to attack this guy, will they? Oh, they won't because it said nothing there. Oh come on, really? Fine, I'll go hit the guy with some quicksilver, I guess. Oh I missed the thing with the quicksilver. Because the Mardu Viper wasn't attacking for some reason, it didn't want to run at the guy. Um, it should have been able to, because it can see it. And my answers are really want to run up the front here, but it's not the best idea, because then it gets them into a corridor and I can't have all my creatures around fighting, or surrounding the enemies. Okay. Uh, oh, no, the book's already read. But the Elven Hall does have a lot of books, so it's uh, gonna maybe help me out with the summoning spells that I'm after. Kind of hoping for like a library ending to the Elven Halls, because those are the ones that just have endless books, and they're pretty good. Uh, I might just have to buff my ancestor if they get wounded here. Yeah, there we go. Just there was a the quark egg summoned in there, so I didn't want to get up the front myself or anything. Um, I don't think I popped the Hall of Blades. I think that's a bit silly. That was Mara with his Demon Blade. It doesn't matter that they left another Demon Blade behind then, I guess, in that case. The, the one that I found in the, oh, whatever it was called, the Desolution of Salt.
All right, so we got shiny plate armor, rude leather armor, slimy chain mail. Any of the stuff I want? Not really. I mean, maybe the slimy chain mail, but can't really go to armor and core resist, which is doing all right. Uh, I think it's like plus five ring mail of core resist or whatever. And with my large amount of strength on this character, it seems to do the trick. Of course, there's more weapons. At least this character's not bad in wet case weapons. Because oh. I know some characters, like, especially elemental characters, really struggle to do any sort of damage to them. I don't think I can get a forest out here. Wait, I can. Why? Wait, how? This doesn't look. Oh, maybe it's everywhere apart from one space that has to be free. I did use to know the rules of bring up forest. Like, you can see it bring out here, because in this space is surrounded by completely empty stuff. I don't know. Huh. Maybe it gives you one uh, space of leeway that can be filled. Wait, that door is not ruined or anything, right? So, in theory, if there's any enemies in there that can open doors, they could pop it out open. I'm kind of suspicious that they might be getting out of there anyway. Yeah, they just went down the bottom area over here because I kept on seeing the creatures like disappear off screen and then an enemy would come along and it's like, hmm, that seems suspicious. I love how the guy goes start with the resist electrical though. I think I've been offered other choices to get it, but it, um. Well, it frees up kind of any sort of salt that I'd have to put that sort of resist electric source in. Actually, it might be the only source I've seen are like, uh, starves of resist electric or something. Do I need scrolls of noise? Not really. Not right now. Oh, hey, it's the tough elves. Uh... Carol's not the best for fighting them, but I won't just pull them back to the staircase. Unfortunately, I still can't bring out a forest. Oh, well. It's lovely how you say case though, because, uh, yeah. Good for bringing things back to. Oh, lost the answer, so. Oh, well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a Horfrost cannon? It sure is. Wait, hold up. Who is that spell? This guy does. So it's got Leech Rep Deconstruct, Fireball Repel Missiles, and Haste. Okay, so mainly it's old spells, I think. What did it replace? Like, what did that guy used to have? I don't know. Oh, it's funny how the cannons like melt into the puddles of uh, water. Oh, really? It brought the brought the guy back to life. Okay. Uh, I guess that's fine. Don't expect to bring both of these upstairs, but that should still be fine. So my fighting's doing well. Everything's doing really well. I might just get... Well, I get invocations up to like... Uh, 14, I guess, actually. Yeah, that's probably a useful skill to have. I was gonna say I just get something, but like... Uh... Oh, those cannons appear around me, which could be a bit of a problem. Okay. They don't seem to survive very well. Apparently, if they live like long enough, they do like a AOE attack or something. But I'm not sure how much of a problem that's going to be. Can I just bring one of these up. No, I can't. Okay. Whoa, three of these dudes. Okay, I'm gonna start a teleport. I don't actually have a lot of those apparently. Oh, right, that was maybe going fine, but I just uh didn't trust three of those guys around me. Okay. Back up a little bit. Now, once again, it's a everywhere just to end up fighting the corridor, which for a melee character would be ideal, but not for this character.
Uh, should retreat back, but I was just gonna try. I was trying to like move forwards and do that so I could summon the entire army, but they can sometimes be a bit of a dangerous play. Um, okay. like that, you get more creatures in the vision that you didn't see before you set forwards and stuff, but hey, it worked out the same round, I guess. Oh, I just got banished, like, my cactus giant or something. I think in theory I can be banished, because I got, like, some willpower, but I don't think it's perfect. Yeah, it's just sitting on two at the moment. I'm kind of relying on being behind my creatures to stop me getting banished. Although that might have actually been an assortion weapon that got my guy. No, it's anti-magic. I don't know. Uh... So that's a, also a handy magic hand axe again. Obviously, I'm not going to use that one and lose half my magic points. That would be silly. Oh, this is willpower minus, and I don't really need to resist negative. One's perfectly enough. Oh, book. Good. Come on. Give me something. It's got power frost eruption, summon ice beast, hailstorm, scum simulacrum. I mean, the summon ice beast is a summoning spell, but it's not a very good one. Well, it's a low level one. It's actually a decent spell <laughs> for a character of the right level. Wait, I've already read these books? Come on, I, I kind of do have a book ending, it's just not the right books. Wait, why don't I... Why did I carry the... Right, I still have my order pick up off. Yeah, it is. Because I thought I had another stack of those. It was willpower, I'm a minus cast, never mind. I don't think with minus cast, it's basically just going to be an instant no for this character. Okay, let's this corrosion ring. I've got another one. Really, a book that I've already read? In a better variety. Ooh, fire to the conference explosions. That's amazing. I can't really see invisible ones anymore. Um, yeah, let's kind of just fix out my resists. All right. Um, do I want to swap out my Ablet for the magic region one with the intelligence on it? I'll lose a bit of strength, so I'll lose some shield value, but I think it's worthwhile. I give it a try. See what it's like. These are still customable, right? Yeah, probably because my end went up. All right. Leaders look for faction. Another book I've already had. Man, I kind of did get an ending with like a ton of um, books, but not really books I could use, unfortunately. Right, well, I got excellent boots out of it. Ooh, what's that? Staff of its minus core resistance. Necromancy, that's not that useful. An orb of minus guns and random range. Wow, okay. Sure. Um. Now I'm done here. Let's just go to, uh, is it Depths next? I guess it's Depths next, so I just gotta hope for some good spells in the Depths, because, I mean, these spells are still alright, but they're beginning to, um, show their age a little bit. Bring out the forest. I mean, the forest is always a good spell, basically. Alright. But someone in here is going to have, uh, I don't know, some horrible things for me, right? Oh, don't put the vampire next to me. There's not really much I can do about that one moving next to me. Okay. What am I missing here? I've got, I'm missing my mana viper, but this is not the best situation ever. I think I'm up to two fire this, which is helpful at least. Lee's rapid deconstructing me. Not really much I can do to get away from that, unfortunately. I've just got to hope my guys kill it nice and quick, really. There we go. Because unfortunately, I am made of stones, so yeah, definitely can't avoid the Lee's rapid deconstruct. Oh, I guess if I get the Haunt spell, I could also get that one going. Just thinking of, like, spells I can use. Because I don't think there's actually a huge number of something high-level spells. Which can uh, make it a little bit hard to find them. I wanted to buff my ancestor. I kind of don't want them to die in that situation. I think my piety has been going just fine. Like, I haven't had any, uh, like, piety ambulance on or anything. But it seems to keep up just fine. Because I know with Hapley Aquana, you can sometimes run into problems with your piety around this point in the game. 
But, uh, I don't know. God, the scary death. Right, so God Nicola. Can I violate my. Don't did I have really any Pokeballs on this character, apart from what? The Sega Spiders, which is alright, but I haven't really speaked much into it. Um. Ooh. Buff the ad sister. There we go. Nicola died to one of the random trees. I think, oh, Beige Shoe Gen. Fine, let's just send her the army. I need some Hydras, I think. She also can also summon the Hydras, which means she can dismiss my summons as well, I think. But she can't anymore because she turned to a dragon. So now she can just do the primal wave for large chunks of damage. Or just die to my summons. I mean, she was basically in a perfect position to die because she was surrounded by everything. Uh, what do you mean, unvisited transporter? Sure. I mean, I don't think that really helps me out, but okay, I've visited now, I guess. Can I get engulfed, like, as a gargoyle? I don't feel like I breathe. Uh, I'm gonna go up. Hold up. I think a berserk spring and getting up to me could be a bit bad. Where's another staircase? I mean... Devs is kind of like that. You've got to try a few staircases before you get a good one, usually. Um, because it does love to spam weaker creatures everywhere. So you can get a whole army surrounding you. Was that a bookshop? That's what I want to see. Alright, come on, bookshop. I'm feeling good about this one, though. It's got to have something. Oh, it doesn't have any books in it. It's got philosophy, Freezing Cloud, Arc George, Mercury Vapors. Oh, Book of Flames. I don't think Spectacles got anything. Fulsum Fusillade. Dazzling Flash, Starburst. No, come on. I mean, I do want to kind of get a fulsome fuse line going at some stage, but this character's not quite the right one for that. I like try lots of the rights of the characters to get that going, and they either didn't stick with the conjuration, or they um, didn't find the spell. Well, that forest was a little funny, because it brought out the water, but it didn't do much else. I can see the trees around the edge, I guess. In theory, I could get the vines getting... Well, spreading out from the edge, I guess. Um, Invocators is good. Let's just get something to... 26, just in case. I mean, it'll count with the power of my current summoning spells, but that's not that useful. I don't know, it's just my other skills are doing pretty good, so I think trying to get the... Oh, this this could be it. Getting some summoning going... Oh, uh, sure, replace the book with a chief one. I think that was just emulation or whatever in that one. So you got polar politics, freezing, uh, refrigerator. Those are have my own summons. They're not very good. Uh, Marta is now it's okay. Dispel undead. Power drive, teleport, other lesser beckoning. I don't think fire is stuff. Fire is silly. Uh, that one's, uh, yeah, the ignition, because that works for something. Well, I mean, there's a manual of spellcasting here, I suppose. Oh, we got a ring of fire, three sort of three dags. A ring of four decks, a magic regen, three decks, or a fledging cover of this willpower. I mean, that reflection cover of this willpower is something. I probably won't get it, but it's something. Oh, a grand grimma. That sounds really good. Because that has uh, some horrible things in the blind gateway. I definitely want that one. All right. A right blight, curse of agony, balsam, fuselage, petrify, radiate. Look at the booze, not gonna have anything now. It's past your club, rear crystal spears. I don't think the unrestrained analytics got anything. Discord, also cubist refrigeration. Can you discord your own summons? I don't actually know if that works. Anyway, let's grab the let's grab the grimoire and do I grab that spellcasting manual? No, I think I wait on that one until I get back to training spellcasting. Alright, well I can get the get the new summoning spells. So we've got the the light gateway and the summon horrible things. Definitely getting the summon horrible things, that's for sure. Um, if I got this, oh, I'll have tons of spell levels left. Let's get that anyway, but I can't quite do that one yet. All right, so the some of the horrible things could probably be what are we quivering some forest? Hmm, hold up, let's assign some of the horrible things to A. Why are these? 
hesitant regenerating rate. The large abom like the abominations in general used to have some kind of random effects on them. Has that just been replaced with like random buffs? Or That's really interesting. Wait, let me try that again. Yeah, they always get a like a random selection of buffs. I think the because the horrible things used to be really weird and that they actually vary um what they did. I think that might have been replaced with just them having a random selection of buffs, which is kind of more sensible. Uh uh oh. Miscast a bit there, but I think this is alright. Tired or lay mainly on my lower level spells, but um, it's alright throwing in like some summoned horrible things. You just don't want to get your int too drained or something. Um, I know like uh, relying it on it on it as your only summoning spell is a terrible idea. Yeah, this raid is terrible. Um. Uh... Pull these guys back. Alright, well, let's try pull some of these guys back as well out to the open. Whoops. Give it accidentally, like, recasting a something spell I'm not meant to. It's a, it's a Hydra that can cast two of the other ones, they can just get one. So if I recast by accident, it's a bit of a waste of magic, but oh well. There we go. I'll try the horrible things, see how well they do here against the Spriggan. Man, okay, I got a retreat here. Did I actually kill the Shrike? I doubt it, but maybe my answers was just tough enough to straight up kill it. Who knows? Uh... Oh, hey there, Lich. Um, it's invisible. I can actually see that. The horrible thing can, right? There we go. Good. I know my ancestor can as well, but those are the, kind of the only things I can think of. Oh, I guess I'll buff my ancestor, because, like, this is a really awkward corridor to get out of. Oh, what was that? A lich, maybe. Okay, that's not too bad. Alright, I, I don't know about this card, although it's really... Kind of hard to fight it here. Um... These aren't diggable, are they? Because that could be kind of useful. No, you'd have to have Shatter if you wanted to get through those ones. Oh, finally, a little bit of open space around the edge. I mean, it's not enough open space to bring out a forest or anything, but it's still something. What do I need here? I need to uh, put my Hydras back. I'll just send those in. Hey, there's the treasure at the end. So there's an Archjolt spellbook and an Ignition spellbook. So that random spellbook I had uh, for sale with Ignition and probably isn't needed anymore. I mean, it was probably never needed. I don't know if it's scared away if I kept the Ignition going. If I step back, that's okay. Yeah, but these are kind of getting into a choke point. Not too bad, there we go. Oh, no, they my creatures were nicely in a choke point for like half a second there. And then they decided, nope, I don't want to be. I was going to step back and, uh, well, step forwards, block the area. All right, let's go down. Hopefully this level will have less, um, 
sort of maze areas. Oh, this looks like, I think this is one of the round open ones. Yeah, this is fine. With like all the stake, uh, not the staircases, the doorways and stuff around the edge. Where is this a die? I presume so. Yeah, there they are. They're back again. Alright. I'm taking the failure chance again. So now there's 2% failed to some horrible things. That's made some pretty nice progress. As I tr so, uh, train the summoning. Any good shields? I doubt it, because I haven't charted my shield anyway, so it's uh, probably got a decent bonus on it. Oh, also, speaking of enchant um, armor, I think I should go buy some enchant armor soon. Maybe when I'm dumb. No, I can do it right now. You know what? Let's don't go do that. Oh, there's a Phantom Mirror for sale. Huh. Magic Spark I'll say, okay. Don't think I actually need these books anymore. All right, well, let's go get the shot up. I think that was pretty important. Put that one on my shield. Uh, and uh, this requirement might as well be money now. Let's just go turn it into money because I've already got a decent ammo and stuff. All right, well, I've got 3,000 gold, so I can probably go grab myself a Phantom Mirror and a Manual of Spellcasting. Where's my ancestor gone? <laughs> There we go, pulled the back. It probably just uh, got separated from me when I got up the staircase or something. Do I need an inventory space? No, apparently I can just pick that one straight up. There's also, yeah, that's a manual. Let's go grab that. I don't know if I'll get back to the spell casting. I probably will. Oh, whoa, what was that? No clue what that spell was I just brought up with my target of that. Uh, mate, was that a summon forest or something? Huh. Oh, it would be, because I was trying to press uh, Z to F, but I just pressed F. I was like, that would actually bring up the target of the summon forest. Well, I didn't actually realize what that summoner looks like. I guess I just don't bring it in the summoner that often. Well, it's a uh, targeter, I mean. What do we got? We got a war axe. That's a little bit of dex. We've got a charm weapon. There's nothing really useful there, unfortunately. It's not a charm dog, which is what I'm looking for. Oh, hey, Menos. Bring the horrible things now before he puts the silence on me. Um, we'll go mirror him up, but it's like more chance of him silencing me, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I can bring out some spiders as well to add to my army. What else can I add to this army? I can add in some. Hydras? Oh, there goes the silence. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before he pops that one. Um. Okay, where's my ancestor? There they are. My idealize them so they don't die quite as quick. Whoa. I don't like how fast all my allies are dying here. Hold up. Um. Yeah, I'll try to hold him in place with a bit of roots for a little while. Oh, he's getting up to me. Man, this is actually not ideal at all. Um, okay, I'm out of the sun, so bring it to more horrible things, definitely. Um, bring it to forest, I guess. He is, like, half dead. But there's a juggernaut behind him. Do I have a potion of magic? I might drink one of those, because I think I'm going to need it. And I'm just going to... Stuff sneak up behind me. I'll wait a couple of tons. Hey, there we go, he's dead. Alright. Don't confuse me, that's fine. i got a cure, I can cure it up. Excellent, let's just retreat back to the staircase, I think. Um, do I need a... I don't think I need a Trishella, unfortunately, but there is one there, and there's also his plus zero touchy up, but no, I don't do his pole arms or anything. 
But Menace has got to be one of the scariest uh, uniques for a lot of characters with his ability to silence you up. i got to pull these guys back because I'm not taking them out where they currently are. Ooh. One of these ones is distortion. Yeah, the one with the demon whip does. Do one of the ring of sea invisible with minus fire resistance and minus a little bit of That doesn't sound the most useful. Uh oh. Another one with the distortion? I think I might actually start a teleport here. This is not ideal. Oh, it's getting up to me. If I just hit it with a root slow. That did not get me anywhere with that teleport, did it? Uh, I might just start another one. Alright. That's fine. There we go. Got my magic and stuff back. Alright, well, I might just go straight back to... The... No, do I go... No, I might collar out a little bit more around the edge of this level before I go... Find that group of creatures that they seem to have unleashed. Right, that's for cold. I don't think I'm needing well though. It's got like two cold just I think. Ah, uh, that's a resist corrosion three edge, but it does minus four slay. Where's my resist corrosion one? Because they got the one with minus int on it, which is not the best. I might drop the regen emblem and just pick that one up as a source of resist corrosion for when I head to the slime pits. Which I'm probably doing the slime pits with this character. I don't have the whole dragon school yet, which is a bit of a shame. Um, whoa. Bring in some more creatures, but it's not working perfectly because I don't have my creatures surrounding this guy, which is a bit of a problem. Uh... Okay, this is alright. It's kind of army versus army. I've got them held in place. Um, I should bring in some more horrible things. In fact, I should probably do a ring swap because some of my rings are not even that great. <laughs> well, that's a must. Alright, well, I might actually do that upstairs, because I got the strength one, but I could probably even put in the intelligence one, or the... Might put in the resist corrosion with a little bit of intelligence and stuff, see how that goes. Oh, did I lose the evasion? I probably lost, like, one evasion. These spells are still castable. The blind gateway still got failure on it, but everything else is looking pretty good. I need something that can see that vampire knight. I know this guy can. Hope for the night, Hollis. Will Pal see invisible. I don't think I've got my see invisible yet. Uh, my robe was, uh, mine's not even robe, mine's like full on ring mail. Cover the three intelligence. I mean, hmm. Might escape with what I've got. Uh, it's, it's not the same as but it's like minus five and some minus three, and that doesn't seem worthwhile. Wait, where's my ancestor? Get in here, ancestor. It probably got, like, sent to the abyss or something, because it was guy with this distortion around. And I think, uh, well, it's technically still alive if it gets sent to the abyss, so it won't just reform on its own. You have to actually summon it back in. Alright, so we've got plus eleven... Palatum, but unfortunately it's like minus six slags. Like, I don't even think that would be useful for a lot of characters, unfortunately. Um Hey, come on, come on, some dragon skulls got death channel. I mean maybe, but probably probably not quite as useful as like getting dragon skull. Or even Haunt would be useful at the moment. Alright, what's this uh, ring we've got sitting in here? It's a ring of fire resist evasion. I mean, I have a basic fire resist one on right now, don't I? So I could probably go swap that one out, get some free evasion. Oh, a little bit of free resist negative. Yeah, I mean, a lot of my resists are looking pretty good. Apart from my willpower, that's looking a little sad. Just sitting on two.
All right, is that most of this level done? But there's still a few more guys to deal with. And I think I might as well take these transporters, although they don't really lead anywhere. I guess they lead to this one dude in here. Uh. Alright, done exploring. So, there's one more level of the depths, and then I've just got to figure out to get a third rune somehow. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've got okay spells, but I'm not sure I've quite got what I want to get my third rune. Whoa. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna bring out a forest to help me out here. Most of those are just ugly things, thankfully. Oh yeah, that's not too bad, actually. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Am I rejecting healing potions? I sometimes lose the ability to read scrolls. Thankfully, both temporary mutations. Oh, it did something else to me. Oh, very frail. I have hardly any health right now. I like spring in health right now. Um, until I can get rid of that one. Yeah, something disappeared. Wait, no, did I get some more things? Oh, occasionally teleport to next to monsters. Armor fits poorly. Okay, wow. Have it slowly from being drained. There's so many temporary mutations. Oh, not more of these guys. They're absolutely wrecking me. I don't like this at all, but... Oh, really? Another one of these, um... Is mild mutated guys? Well, look at this list. Still got the frail one. Often teleport next to monsters is really scary. Cage of the ability to read scrolls is pretty scary. I mean, that's such a... That's such a list of just temporary mutations. Oh, the cloak of starlight. I don't even think I'll be using that one right because my oh wait, my cloak is nothing. I totally could do that. Yeah, stop smiting me and just die. There we go. Hey, no longer unable to read scrolls. I feel a bit more robust. Oh, I feel stable. Okay. Hey, they got most of the bad stuff. Excellent. I'm back to just kind of acceptable stuff. Ooh, okay, let's put on this Cloak of Starlight, wherever that one was. Uh, I gotta drop something. Uh, probably strands, that doesn't sound that useful. I think I lose like 1 AC or something, but I do gain the evasion to make up for it, so it should be alright. Uh, I guess I summoned the horrible things. There we go. Okay, so anything good here? Brilliance is pretty decent. Uh, I'll take the mutations. I don't think I've got any real mutations yet. I'll take the heal wounds as well, I guess. Alright, well that'll do. Top me up on those potions. Oh, hey, Tormentor. Can't bring in that many creatures right now. Alright, well, this seems alright. The problem is uh, the creatures appear with like two spaces of me, so. And they want a lot of spaces within two spaces of me. Pull these back a little bit. Oh, it's not really working. All my subs just running up towards the enemies. Alright, bring these. Try to bring them back just a little. What else can I summon in? I think that's fine. I can now retreat back. Try to keep myself with a crystal spear worth of hit points. Um, anyway, I've got to do my uh, another rune, don't I? 
Where do I go? Um. Hmm. I got decent for this for like the slide, but to go. Okay, I'm missing a little bit of willpower. I can probably get a little bit of willpower if I put all the regular willpower or whatever. Um. Do I have what it takes to go kill the royal jelly? I might try Vault's fight, but I'm not most tempted on that one. Because I never got the Dragon School, which is what I usually use to kill uh, Royal Jelly. I mean, I'll just double check that I don't have that one. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so... I'm going to buff the answers and just head on down. See where I end up. Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot my teleport. Whoops. <sighs> I was doing the thing like you do if there was like an escape hatch, except it wasn't. Okay. That's alright, so... It's not a bad spot. Um... I don't think the spiders are that good, but I might bring them out. Alright, oh, there's a basic little look there. Gotta be careful being mine. I do have a few, like, cancellation, but I don't have a lot of cancellation, I don't think. Wait, is there a shapeshifter around here? Yeah, that dream chief is 100% a shapeshifter. Oh, you could usually do false fight by stair dancing, gaze around, keyword be usually. I've done it occasionally with stair dancing, but I find it's, um... I find I have less success with stand dancing on the majority of characters. Uh, I better bring in the uh, horrible things. Oh, what got me with the mic, and it was like one turn there where I was like available to be mic'd up. Oh. I think my answer is gone as well, which is a bit of a shame. Ooh, okay, there's actually a lot of things that don't think I teleport though. Uh, right? I gotta think about this, hold up. I don't think I teleport yet, but what do I do? I can throw... I, mean, I can throw some roots around though, I can't really throw some roots around, can I? Uh... Might have to drink one of those magic potions they got. We'll see how many creatures end up coming along. Because that's the problem with mics. It does uh, draw a lot of creatures. Although that looks fine. Looks like it got through the majority of the creatures there. <laughs> of course the answer is dead again. At this point they don't survive so well. So, oh. I'll get out of the view of that escape hatch. What sort of characters do you usually stand on with Gaze Road? Because I know what I uh, usually stand on and it's with... It's usually with, uh, like, majors that have big AoEs, but are really noisy. So I just go down the center and start blowing things up with Shatter or something. Um... But I know with melee characters, you can, like, try and, uh, stand on, so I've done that before. Alright. That's my end going. It's still in the right event. I think it was like fully restored for a little while there. Whoa. Did these guys get like buffed up a little bit? Because uh, they're doing their what is it, flashing baluster a lot. Or whatever it is. The one that summons in guys. Uh, they used to not really do that a lot. Like it felt, it really felt like they weren't doing it enough before. So I wonder whether they have been buffed up or whether it was just random luck. Um. I want to stop this guy recalling, but I can't even see it. Oh, I couldn't stop it recalling because I couldn't see it. Yeah, well. Because I do have the wand of Quicksilver just setting around. I think I used to have some. We got six of them still.
It's kind of challenging all these guys in the corner is actually working fairly well. All things magic get to work so well. Oh, that's willpower. What is it? Minus magic points, minus stealth, ice. I thought even that good. Wait, who's that gold dragon up? That's plus one. It didn't come for a gold dragon, did it? At all, I guess, in that case. Are you mostly doing all melee characters, games, friend? Enemies seem to trickle from the chambers. Need to pay attention to the ones that lock the stairs, right? Yep, all constraints, that's true. So I guess you kind of... Oh, I should probably do uh, the Quicksilver. I guess you'd probably need, like, um... Some sort of throwing or something and a bunch of javelins, I think is what you usually need. Just to uh, take out the guys that lock the staircases. I mean, that's probably not a bad strategy, like, with a Formicid or something. Alright, what have we got here? We've got a glowing hat. I still think I found, like, nothing good to put on my head, right? Uh, no, I think it's like a plus two hat. I mean, I can try it. It's probably not that good. Could have willpower or something, though, right? Oh, stealth. I mean, stealth is fine. Well, oh, that's not right. Gee, that is right. It should be bringing out the forest, actually. Alright, now I can probably put my cat back on if I got the right one. I do have the right one. I wonder how much stealth I got. Oh, basically none. I mean, that's my only purpose stealth. But one stealth kind of matters. Um, because it's enough where when you run away from creatures, they can sometimes get about you and wander off, whereas I think any less than one pip doesn't do that. That's a lot of guys. Um, I guess I just keep on bringing out the horrible things. Oh. Well, I was not expecting to see that guy in front of me with his crystal spears, but I guess it was. These some of the horrible things are just kind of dying. Uh... Oh, don't spell my guys. Alright, I think I just kind of retreat back, get some magic points, because I do have the whole channel magic. Oh, get an ancestor as well. Not channel magic, what am I saying? Magic regen, I mean, it's kind of similar sort of thing. But it's been ages since I've played a Formicid. Maybe I should think about trying to do some sort of melee Formicid, and I can bolt studs, or stand on false five or something. Although with Formicids, I often end up doing the Abyss, uh, depending exactly what the character's good at. Alright, I don't think the little blade dude noticed me. Where is it? Alright, well, it's, uh, it's about one quarter of this level done. Probably a bit more, because I think there's a bit that I did up the top. Uh, bring some more horrible things. Oh, buff my ancestor, I guess. I probably don't want them to die on me right now. Hey, there we go. Something's doing pretty well. I can't do spellcasting because I got a manual on it. Or I could just do the invocations to get a god title. Actually, do hold up. I'll get a little bit more spellcasting. But I've got to check on titles here because I'm not sure whether I've got any gargoyle ones left um, for Heavenly Aquata or nothing. Gargoyle is what? G-A? That doesn't sound right. G-R? G-R sounds better. I thought I had the bot this morning. Apparently not. Okay. Maybe just left me. Uh... All right, let's, uh, let's make it joint. Let's read with my command. GRS equals title should be the command. Maybe no keyword, whatever that is. Must have accidentally misclicked or something.
Oh man, I've had so many gargoyle titles. Have I had gargoyle child though is the main question. Um, so I've had Spring of Light, Wild Gargoyle, Axe Mania, Conqueror, Corruptor of Planes, Distorting, X Machina, Ballister, Barricade, Cataclysm, Gargoyle of Death, Porcupine, Holy Warrior, Honorless, Invulnerable, Luminary of Lethal Law, Mary, Metal of Mancer, Digitator, Rock Slime, Unflinching. Oh, hey, I haven't had the um, child one. Okay. Well, that um, that's easy enough to get. Yeah, because that's basically just getting invocations of my high skill and then um, grabbing an to face so I can lose all my piety before I uh, win or something. That's an AC strength rig. I can't even remember what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a uh, resist corrosion, a little bit of end one. I mean, this is... Honestly, not that special. Um, Nah, I'll probably just leave it, I think. Oh, I've got uh, an amulet of Midas cast. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. Okay, I need to bring out the horrible things. I need to bring out as tough stuff as I can with this guy. Because it's a dread lich and those. Oh, it's got invisible. I'll just buff my ancestor. Because at least my ancestor can see it, right? There we go. Oh, there's also these little rooms. I know sometimes these rooms are shopping districts. You'll be able to buy some stuff, but maybe not this time around. Do I? Okay, I don't think I'm too worried about that death rake, although it's probably a shapeshifter, so it's probably not even a death rake anymore. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, that hydra or something might have been it. Hey, where's this game uh, hiding the dragon's call, the haunt? Uh, seems to be hiding them very well. It's an amulet of resist cold two more power minus three intelligence now. It's not that good. And a spirit guardian, which is like kind of bad. Oh, it's recalling again. I suppose I just stop it. I've got. Oh, I must have failed to stop it. Oh, yeah, I must have missed. Huh. It doesn't really matter because uh, like, there weren't too many guys around, so it was just kind of uh, brought in a small group of guys. Alright, all those rooms don't seem to have nothing massively important left. I've got two more of these areas. Oh, this one's kind of a bit awkward with the creatures that's kind of instantly coming into sight. I just do a little bit of order explore. I don't think it's going to matter too much if I go to the center of the level, which is exactly where order explorers try to go. Are there really none of my vocables here? Because I've already got a phantom. Or, uh... Oh, there we go. Those are travel stones. Okay, just as I mentioned, I'm one turns off, which is kind of funny. Because I know the bolts is often a good source for the invocables, which means you can go along the game without getting them. But if you don't do uh, bolts 5, you often miss out on some of the invocables. I don't really need a basic intelligence, I don't think. Oh, it's kind of so purposes. There we go, that's the rune. And the uh, Searing Ray, which isn't quite as useful. I'm going to quickly check for... You know, I might just check the whole world for summoning spells. See what we've got. Uh, Book of the K is like, uh, what is it? Marti's Nell. And there's Anime Number. Alright, well, that's fine. A spell for Servitor? No, that's not really that useful. Alright, well, I guess I'm just heading into Zop with what I've got. I got good armor class, of course, because I'm a Gargoyle. But I don't have good health. Like, 42 armor class is pretty good. 17 of age and 26 GLD. I mean, defense are good, at least. Um, I'll just pop revelations on these floors.
Why? Okay. Get. I actually have to go all the way to 27, don't I, with the invocations, because I've got some other skills that are quite high already. So I'm about to do the slime pits at some stage. Got Maxwell's capacity coupling? Sure. Gee, what is my invocations? Am you plus one? Oh, there's some chance I'll be able to get uh, that to 27 in here, but I don't think it's a good chance I'll be able to get that to 27 without having to uh, go do some more areas. Are these guys damage got nerfed or something? Doesn't look nerfed. Maybe that was just a uh, uh, pull request that I looked at or something, because... Uh... Yeah, apparently the quicks that were draconians do like the same amount of damage as the other draconians. Despite being an irresistible type of damage, which often ends up with them being the ones that do the most damage. In fact, they can easily turn into them being the ones that do like twice as much damage. See, most people have like at least one pip of most resists. Oh, hey, go dragon. <laughs> Trying to poison me up, but that's not really too much of a problem. This spear red rage that's not massively helpful. Alright, well the first level the of Zod doesn't seem to be too bad despite my lack of higher level summoning spells, so that was definitely clarable. I think my physical defense are definitely helping me out. Uh, I'll pop the revelations later, I think. I'll just uh these guys could go berserk. I think that's fine. I'll just bring in some tough creatures. Do I go up? No, I don't think I go upstairs. I think I just summon some more stuff. Yeah, I mean, Shadow and Dragons don't do a lot with their breath because they got the whole two resist negative. But I mean, I guess the berserk one's mainly doing melee damage anyway. Did I actually get any digging? Because I don't think I've used it. I've got like uh, 13 digging, so I actually got quite a lot of that. Ah, uh, what can find a ghost moth? Like, I don't know. I think my ancestor can kill it. There we go. Whoa, except this could leave me a little bit short of magic points, as it turns out. Um. Can I use a death alley? But I can too. Just is not. Oh, where am I teleporting? Just is not like that. Was wild generally as a guy going to use a death alley? But until uh tomb, because you've already got the whole resist torment going on, which is actually quite useful. And extended. I mean, maybe not so much a three rune game, but I guess it could still be useful with like uh custos and stuff. Oh, I'm missing. I'm not missing that much. I got most of my army out already. I don't think I worry too much about these Moths of Wrath. Yeah, man, they already bizarre up one of my own guys. Okay, ow. This guy can hit me with, like, its smite attack thing, and so can this one, maybe. Ah, oh, dead too. Gotta yeah, drink a healing potion. Got 17 of them, at least. My, oh, my creatures are dying. I'm bringing some more creatures, but I might just have to drink another healing potion as well. I need this one dead. There we go. I think I need a healing potion because that was going to crystal spear. Um... More guys? Um, I think I can just go up the staircase, actually. Just get out of here and get my health and magic back would be nice. Whoa, okay, that's enough damnation, I think, for me. Yeah, the gargoyles are kind of weak to damnation because they're low health. They're not as bad as Spriggans, but it's definitely noticeable when you're running around with 150 health or something.
I'm not gonna lag the fire. I'm just gonna try bring everyone in. Oh, actually, that's not gonna quite work. Probably these castles, as they love to like get rid of your summons. All right, let's back up a bit. There's probably more ghost boss in there with uh, all the dead ones around the outside. Man, I kind of remember that bolt having ghost boss from what I've done on the previous character. Ah, oh, man, it's multiple these draconians. I'm gonna back up around this corner and then I'm just gonna bring in some horrible things. I think they can still shoot me with damnation, which is a bit of a worry, but they're choosing just to do their fire, which is definitely a lot better because that, well, it targets my fire at this, so it does a lot less damage. Oh, hey, orb of fire. Oh, and a cold strike. Um. Right, well, I'm phantom mirroring the Shriker thing. Oh, it's next to me? Really? Don't know what happened to my phantom mirror trike. Um, I guess I get died or something. I might just drink a brilliant. I got six of those. I think it's probably a good idea. All right, there we go. Cover of the orb of fire and the shrike. I don't think I actually got any negative mutations thanks to my allies up the front. Uh, yeah, I've got a little vaulted here, which is kind of a, well, it's more of a fire and an ice theme. Although it doesn't have any icy walls, it just has, like, the water, I guess. I think I've had that one before, or that one with the Shrike in it before. I'm actually not sure about one with, like, the Orb of Fire and a Cold Shrike in it. I was pulling frogs, that's kind of funny. No, those guys vary so uh, so much in how tough the things that they bring in. Like, I got a, it's a magically preserved pepperoni pizza, nice. Yeah, like, sometimes they'll bring in, um, ghost moss or something, and other times they'll just bring in, like, blink frogs. It's such a big difference. Oh, there's definitely a uh, ghost moss here. Can I buff my head? Oh, it's too late for that now. Just like it would help with the ghost moth. Anyway, what have we got here? We've got Death Store, Coast of Agony, Petrify. No, that's kind of... I thought it was more to Necromancy or something than sure, but... Not really. I buff my head because I know the ghost moth. There we go. Ghost moth's dead. But yeah, it's pretty obvious there was going to be ghost moths in here, judging by all the ghost moths around the outside. Um, all the dead bodies. Oh, they're gone now, but apparently there, there were a lot of ghost moths around there. Right, well, it's time to go down and magic map out this level. Oh, the red book? Why are there so many books that I've already read? There's another book of blood. I'm pretty sure I've seen a lot of those. If I just search for books, does it just show me books? Yeah, these are like all the books I've read. But actually, no, these ones for money are just for sale. Oh, wait, hold up. I gotta show useless ones, don't I? These are all the books that I've read everywhere. <laughs> I'm actually fine being next to that creature because it means the uh, guy with damnation isn't going to hit me. It's kind of funny when like enemies get in the way of each other and make, uh, make their own allies less effective. It's really funny. Alright. Oh, that's a ghost boss, isn't it? I think it might be dead though now. Alright. Which one has gone berserk? So this guy's gone berserk. I need to go up soon. I mean, now's probably a pretty good time to go up once one of the berserk guys is dead and, um... 
Yeah, before anything really gets up to me as well. Oh, hey, it could be Dragon's Call. It's got some chance it's Rhyme Blade. All right. A spell that I do eventually plan on testing out on some sort of call mage. Right, so those are kind of my options of things to do. Oh, I gotta bring out the horrible things, I think. Oh, come on. Right, can any of these see invisible? Did I just get... Oh, I got the guys that couldn't see invisible. Oh, I got the guys that couldn't see invisible again? Okay. Oh, try once more. Oh, it didn't even work. Man, okay. I guess a quicksilver, but that's gonna get rid of my own guys, isn't it? Uh oh, am I even winning that fight? There we go. Don't uh, quite drink a magic potion. I might just uh, dig up this way and get out into the open before I fight this guy. I guess fighting in that corridor would have been fine seeing my answers and spawn back in. I just kind of feel a little underpowered by this, this point of the game, but. I don't want to drain my uh, in too much just by summoning horrible things all the time. It's kind of what I've been doing a lot. So I need the wizardry because I really don't have the no the spells that I need that one to try and get cast for. All right, let's go down another level. I can go magic map the cell. What do I want to do? I just bring in an army, I guess. Oh, I might go up soon. Alright, that's fine. Well, there's another way down. Wait, that's probably not the right one. That's, uh, that one's just kind of just around the corner from where I was. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. Last creatures just totally surrounding me here. Right, I've got another Dragon's Blood test, but how many of those have I seen this run? I seen, uh... Three? It feels like more than that, but I guess it's just three. Because those are usually, like, really uncommon. You can have plenty of runs where you don't see any of them. Oh, hey, tier match. Uh... I'm gonna back out into this area. Buff of the answers. Not too late. They're gone. Probably just gonna have to retreat up to a staircase. I reckon there's uh, still too many things here. But there is at least a free staircase over here that I can go up and get my health back. Alright. It's Tiamat again. Um... Did I just lose my ancestor? Oh, I did. Go, but at least I go over to tear but that's uh, the important bit, I guess. Do I want the cloak? Is my cloak even there? It's like, oh, I've got the Starlight cloak, right? So I lose 40 evasion, but I gain a little bit of armor class. I wouldn't be able to dazzle people anymore, but I'm not doing that much anyway. Um, It would sometimes give me resist. It's actually not bad. I might put it on. I lose a bit of evasion. Yeah, I don't know. I'll give it a try. Just, I really don't get a lot of chances to dazzle thing with, with my other cloak. Um, uh, what are these boots? I have really good boots. I wanted to give, like, a whole bunch of resists, so... It'd be really hard to compete on the boots front. Right, final level. Of course, I'm gonna get intelligence. There's nothing much else to get with this character. I could actually be using a malign gateway. Should I? Maybe.
Have you tried the word reworked URL now? I think I have at some stage. I tried one. You're down now. Yeah, I tried one that could raise a torch or something. They might have still been kind of in the process of being reworked. I should try another one. I found them good on like strong characters. Oh, that's not at all what I want to see. Um, I mean, this thing is not going to do much, but. Okay. Sure, that staircase is definitely not the one to go down. But I found that uh, with like weak gear characters, I was really struggling to get my zombies out. But I really like the the um, starting with the raise the torch ability, so that you can at least start with some creatures on the level. Oh wait, those aren't gonna work because I can't see this invisible guy. Bring the shifter upstairs, I think. There we go. Right, well that seems to be working alright. What are my traps like? They don't look good. So I gotta... Oh no. I gotta teleport trap and I gotta not trap. Uh, oh. I'm gonna take one of these teleport traps. Okay. That's like not really any better. Um, I gotta do a haste, I gotta do a brilliance. I hope that love trap doesn't go off. It's kind of back a little bit. Forget healing potion. Um Bring it to forest, right? Lich is invisible. So many of these liches can be along. Um. Try to summon a few more guys, but I'm just worried about this lich. I'm buff up my answers, so maybe they can go kill something. Oh, I got mic'd. Man, I can cancel it out, but I'm gonna lose, uh, actually I've lost my buffs anyway, so like, I guess I should cancel this out, but I'm still gonna attract some stuff. Just trying to think if I should start a teleport, but I think I just keep on buffing through this, um, so I'll do another Brilliance. And I think I'll do another Haste. Alright. Who's some of the nice feed? I don't like this. I gotta do a bit of fog, but I don't know if it helps that much. One of the liches is dead. Oh, but not the one with the ice feed, apparently. There's nothing there. There's, there, there's obviously a creature there. I should be able to target that one. Oh, I hate that. Oh, come on. Really? I couldn't quite target exactly where I wanted to there. Uh, how hard is it to hit this ledge? Oh, well, I think I might have died now, finally. This is still alive, thankfully. What else can I do here? I can bring in a little bit more of the ugly things, but not a huge amount more. I have got a good old orb of fire. Buff my ancestor again just to keep the health up. Uh, what am I missing? I'm missing some stuff. I don't know. Just uh, got an assortment of creatures out. At least all the ancestors are getting wounded again. Man, there's a couple of orbs of fire. I think I'm gonna have to drink one of these uh, magic potions, but at least I got seven of those. I'm actually not doing bad in that department. Oh, three orbs of fire. Well, this is where the things really start to come along. Um, I love it if one of these would just die. There we go. That's a bit better. I 
lost my hay, so I still got my brilliance on though, but I might just drink another magic potion and a healing potion to go with it. Oh, I got slow decay. I might drink another healing potion. Um... Am I might I'm not might, but I am slowed. So I've got uh, armor fits poorly on my body, and my body sometimes deteriorates. So it's not terrible, but I might reset them anyway. Because I got like 70 mutation potions. Oh, I'm frail, that's a bit of a shame. I might reset these a bit more, see what I can do. I'm still frail? Okay. I don't really want to be frail. Come on, game. Uh, apparently still frail, alright. Oh, come on. I think I got some horns on my head as well, which is not ideal. Actually, that's actually fine. So I got fire to just, uh, recover from draining slowly. That's probably fine. Yeah, that's actually all good. Come on. Summon and some stuff, but the statue could probably get rid of my summons if it wanted to. Probably fine. It's probably just uh oh, I can't even command my guys to go fight it, but it's yeah, it's probably just a uh, moth. There we go, draining all my magic. It's fine on its own, but it'd be terrible if there were more stuff around. Yeah, how's my uh invocations going? It's almost twenty four. That's helping, but I gotta get three more points of that. I don't think I'm gonna get it in here. Oh, uh. Started with a straight up, um. Brimstone feed. I think that's alright. Alright, the clouds all over the place. I don't think the traps count when it teleports onto them, but it does count when it walks onto them as triggering the trap, I think. That's not even summoned. Okay. Gotta take the teleport trap in here. Alright, that's not too bad. There's like a lot of invisible liches around and then summoned creatures coming along, that sort of thing. Uh cast over there. Alright, I might just head this way back. Oh there's something here. Alright, that looks fine. I finally recovered from that teleport though that I got that teleported me into the like James, right? that might have, I don't know if that was helpful or not, but it probably wasn't too harmful given I already had the bad traps, so I would have had to be doing something fairly bad anyway. That's my health, 80, I think that's alright. Gotta make sure I got like enough to survive. Uh, oh, I might drink some more healing. Gotta survive the like the bolts of quicksilver, the damnation bolts and stuff. Um, am I? Oh, I'll drink a healing potion, but gotta buff up my ancestor as well. I wasn't sure the order to do that in. Oh, really? These guys just keep on hitting me with quicksilver. It's doing so much damage. Alright, well, I mean, you know, there's not much more this level to go explore, but I guess I could go do it, finish this off, level off completely. Uh, there's a teleport trap here, right? No, it's just the dispersal one, which of course is, uh, gets you kind of trapped in here, because it's really hard to take those ones to get out. Oh, where's my ancestor? Did I recall them? I did recall them, good. I wonder if he reads me close to that dreadlet, so if I need to summon him some more stuff, I can do it easily. Um, 
All right, well, I'm completely done with Zod. Um, so let's see. So how much do I need? I need to get a good 1.4 more skill in the invocation. Actually, no, I don't. I need to get a good 0.5 more skill, don't I, to make that max? Or higher than my other skills? Okay, well, that's pretty easy. I can probably just do, like, a tiny bit of crypt or something. Um, because instead of one of the... Oh, come on. Teleport traps. One of these teleport traps will eventually take me out of here. There we go. So I can, uh, I need to get an element of faith, because otherwise I won't be able to get the tile I want. Wait, what do you mean there's no f Uh oh. Uh oh. What do I do if there's no faith? I mean, I can go to crypt for a little while, but really no faith? I thought I had some. I guess not. Ah, what am I doing? Apparently all the wrong keys. Nah, Faith and Guardian Spirit apparently missing. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to crouch for a little while, but it's... Hmm. I might just be able to get, like, some other random Hamplay Aquatic title, but that would be, not be as good. Or I could try... How do I reduce my piety? Because, I mean, the Idealize and the Transfers can reduce it so much, but I don't think they can get it all the way down. I mean, another kind of silly option is to, like, renounce my religion and then try and join Hamplay Aquatic again. But I'm not sure if you have to wait out your... Oh, it's hard. Interesting. Uh, you might have to wait out, like, your, um, God Wrath for that, which could take a while, so I'm not sure. But I don't think I've had this problem before of, like, lack of a faith amulet, but apparently today won't give me one. I don't think the piety decay is that good. Could I maybe... I mean, this is a little silly, but I can maybe rely on Piety Decay to get my face down just by waiting on the spot for ages. Um, yeah, it certainly wouldn't be winning me any points for turn count, but it might actually just be what I have to do. Heavily Aquata does have Piety Decay, right? I, I think most of the gods do. Not all of them, but most of them do. Alright, well, I've got some good old mutation potions, but I think I reset most of my mutations pretty recently. Hey, we grad scout. Alright, so I've got the uh, title, or well, the right sort of title. Um, yeah, I guess I just try and work my piety down right now before I do my orb run, and then I try and wait off some of it. Uh... This is kind of silly, but... Okay. <laughs> this is highly silly, okay, I'm a storyteller. Um... How far is this piety decaying? It's really hard to tell. I don't know, am I piety decaying? Surely I'm piety decaying. Um... I hope this is actually working. This might not be working. <laughs> no, it's not working. Okay, go to Zod Clock instead. Um, what do I do if I can't decay my piety? Man, I hate this. I'm pretty sure I've already had Storyteller as well. Um... Oh, whoops, I forgot the S equals title thing. That's not going to help much, is it? Um... I've had... Oh, man, that's quite a lot. Um... Can I do a... Can I do title... There are like a not contains thing, like a um I think there probably is, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I'll try to get ones that are not child, see if that works. Don't think that's quite oh that might be the syntax. So I've had amnesia or whatever that is, cogmind, hoplite, Mark's genie, 
Max Riccardi, and I mean, this old Archer one, which makes sense. Oh, Minotaur Calf, that's right. Philosopher, yeah, for storyteller. Man, that's, ah, uh, this is terrible. Fine, I guess I'll renounce the religion, which is really silly, but whatever. And now let's just go see if I can rejoin Hep immediately. Um. <laughs> hey, it worked. Okay, well, uh, wait, why am I hazy? That's... What is the hazy from? Am I actually too low on my piety right now? I haven't had this one before, so it's fine. It does get me a new one. We can check what this one's for. Uh... Huh. Yeah, you do need one pip of piety to get the child ones. Interesting. That was fine, I guess. All right, well, there's an orb up here. I could go grab. A step on the portal to that. Didn't really get me out there. Oh, fine. Let's go step on another portal, I guess. Um, I mean, I could read a scroll of fog. Make this a little bit better. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it a try, because I'm not getting through here very well. That way, I can see most of the space. I can see on ones on the side that I want to go to. There we go. It got me through. Excellent. Uh, staircase is this way. I might just kind of... I might delay these guys with a few hydras or whatever. But I'm mainly just trying to get to the staircase right now. The good thing about something is that it's like fairly good at delaying enemies that are trying to get to you. So they just kind of end up fighting your summons as you run out of there. Oh, I'm not going to get piety as I explore, am I? Because that's, uh, it's like explore piety. It's not, um, killing things piety. It's not going to be stuck with hazy, but I guess it's alright. Oh, what does this guy do? It's, uh, quite fast. Just my bus blink polymorph. Oh, can I actually get me with the polymorph? I think I'm going to start with a haste. Maybe a little bit of, uh, enlightenment. I might have to blink, but I'll just try running for the staircase for now, because I'm not that far away, and I've got my creatures. Ah, oh, yeah, no problems. Alright, keep on making it up. Uh... I'd stay the closest I can see I can, but it might not be the optimal path for getting out of here or something, because it didn't look like the auto travel was going for it. Did that do anything to me? Minus potions, I think. I don't think I had that one before. Uh, oh, those are fine, I think. Although, minus potions is not perfect. I will be maybe wanting to drink healing potions depending on what comes after me. I could have just taken that escape hatch. Oh well. Man, it's probably not too late to just go take it right now, but I could have taken that a bit earlier. Got up just a little bit quicker. Alright, well, I'm at the exit. Unfortunately, I'm still hazy, but that's just going to have to do because I had no amulet of faith. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Shame about the title, but at least it was a unique title that I hadn't had before. I mean, I got really good items that game. That game was actually pretty easy. Did I ever get... I didn't get a lot of enchant armor, so it's a good thing I was going with light armor. Or an artifact armor, actually. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was a massively quick bit of four-hour game just to get three runes. But anyway, that's that character down. Let me go see what other things there I can start. Um, kind of tempted to be a Phobosid. What do we have in the way of Phobosids? There's a Phobosid, Alchemist, Brigand, Chaos Knight, Conjurer, Delva. I kind of want to be a Brigand and just go around with like a really massive sword. Um, that sounds like fun to me.